Man, when you're hungry, <laughs> dinner's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody make a quote card? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> making... <laughs> Dude, dinner's my favorite food. Okay, welcome to The Bracket, episode 112. Today we are debating the best things in life that start with the letter D. We got Vibsy on. Triumphant Returns. It's been a little bit. I feel like it's been a minute. We had you on pre-Christmas, right? Pre-Christmas. What was yeah. it? Favorite? Uh, I don't know. Ken Burns ended up like Ken going Burns to the finals. <laughs> right. Which yeah. is wild. Uh, we always have Clemmer coming in for a little return. It's been a minute for you, too. It's been, yeah, it yeah, has. I missed doing this shows. show. Yeah. Well, we had like the red flags thing. I you're... know, I know. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, your divorced ass would have been pretty good for it, actually. I would think so. I, I have yeah. more experience than I imagine some other people are. Yeah. Yeah. Red flag. He's in an improv group. Big red flag. <laughs> <laughs> for the ladies out there, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Right. Like, he's he's been captain but... of an improv yeah, group. Yeah. For him, that's a green flag. <laughs> that's I know right. we met <laughs> both of his wives. For sure, yeah. But, I mean, green flag. She's in an improv group. Red flag, he's been divorced 10 times. Only once. Only once. So he's like, Good Lord. Uh, and you have KB and, and you have Nick and Rudy, too. They're just wrapping up uh, the science fair in Chicago. Make sure to watch that, too. We got a bunch. Of, we got a lot of content coming out Yep. yep. Well, uh, in the next couple days, uh, including Clemmer, the Rat Race. Yes, please go check out Rat Race uh, if you haven't already. Um, I'm super excited how it came out. Production's amazing. Camera work's amazing. Edit, the editing is fantastic. It's so good. It's like better than I could have hoped. KB, you'll love it. I'm very excited to watch. Big fan of the movie yeah. with the ensemble cast. Yeah. Uh, Rowan Atkinson. Rowan was Atkinson. There? Amongst. Big boy from Seinfeld. Newman. Oh, yeah. Seth Wayne Green. Knight. Seth oh, yeah. John, yes. Lo- John Lovitz. John Lovitz, um, yeah. Hitler's Limo. Kathy Bates. Hitler, Hitler's Limo, great scene. Uh, John Cleese. John Cleese was the guy that was the head of it, yeah. I mean, we have Marty Mush. Amy Smart. Breck and Meyer. Breck and Meyer. Yeah, there's a big crew. Uh, the Hitler scene is still, that's so good. Very funny. funny. So funny. Uh, but yeah, uh, we can jump right into it. Um, we've got a whole bunch to get to. Actually, we should probably get to our sponsors first before I forget. I'd like to make a things. clarification also yeah. to today's bracket. We are not debating um, the best thing that starts with the letter D. We are debating the second, second best. best thing that starts with the letter D because the winner of this would just have been Dave Portnoy. Yes. Too easily. Correct. So we're removing him <laughs> even from... Yeah. Yep. From it, it's like uh, Dave would have won this, so we're now debating the second best thing. Correct. It starts with the letter D. Is it, is it like hard to walk around at a spine? Like, does it hurt you, or is it just... What do you mean? Yeah. Do you disagree with that? I'm just asking a question. Just uh, asking questions. Uh, <laughs> before we get started. Pathetic excuse of a man, Tommy Smokes. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Tom, Tommy's in good graces with Dave, at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, last time you had a conversation with Dave, he was like reaming you out. Yeah. No, well, we were yelling back and forth each other. Yeah. That's true. That's right. Yeah, I, we, I think a lot of people gained some respect for Clemmer that day. Maybe maybe some lost some, maybe some yeah. game. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, st- I'm still here. <laughs> Knock on wood <laughs> for uh, now. <laughs> before we get to the options, let's hear from Game Time. Uh, look, we all use Game Time here. We talk about it all the time. It's one of our favorite supporting uh, or sponsors that we have. I just used them literally last night to get tickets for Nate Jackson. Have you guys heard of him? Comedian? I'm not. He is so goddamn funny. Um, he's like one of those guys that like he's a, a, a kind of like a roast comedian. I don't do crowd work comedian. I guess okay. he just sits there and shreds people. And I just there's something about that I love. Someone like he was quick enough to actually think of like good insults. He's very very funny. But I use Game Time to get those tickets. Nice. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry when you're buying tickets for the next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets to all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Uh, again, I'm using I just use it for comedy show. I've used it for I used it for 76ers. Um, Pistons came. Pistons were disgustingly bad. Go, sirs. Everyone in this room is about to use them soon. Sirs play at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. We're all going. Everyone's yep. going. Sirs. sirs. We, should sirs. we should all go. No, like, yeah, we it, are. It oh, might yeah. cost us $10,000 yeah. to get tickets to <laughs> the, the cheapest seat was so 400 bucks. Wait, who oh, is game this? Time will find Pacers the best versus. versus yeah, uh, game time. Oh, luckily, the, yeah. oh the sirs. Yeah. I, I didn't. I never heard that. We do eight. Can KB be part of the sirs nation? Oh, absolutely. KB, do you, how, do you, how do you like small market teams? How do you feel about them? Dude, I love I love um, Tyrese. Tyrese yep. Halbert. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. You're in. You're in. in. You're in. He passed yes, the sirs. Yeah. <laughs> he passed it. We have to add him to the chat. You're in. Sirs Nation. You're in. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to use it, and those tickets are crazy, but easier to get through game time. Uh, they have all the uh, last-minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals, all that stuff. It's easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. They're obsessed with finding you ways to save money on tickets. They have deals on tickets right after the start of the event. Even an hour after it started, it is the place to find last-minute seats. Find exclusive flash deals and sponsor deals on tickets for football, baseball, bas- uh, basketball, uh, concert, comedy, uh, theater, and more. With zone deals, you can pick this section, and the game time picks the seats for an average of 18% savings. And the game time guarantee means that you always get the best price. If you have uh, find tickets in the same row and same section for less, game time will credit you 100 10 percent the difference take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code bracket for 20 dollars off your first purchase off the lcb codes you notice that 
Now, for the regular crew, we're off. The, no longer it's promo code LCB. It's promo code bracket. Oh, wow. We're big time. Moving on Harder to spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More letters. Uh, term <laughs> supply. Again, create an account and redeem code bracket for 20 bucks off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Uh, and welcome to Nikki. Uh, hey, guys. Sorry about that. I had to do some science. Yeah. Are we, are we back to calling him Nikki? Defending like, champion of no, the science. No, yeah, stop part. that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so this year. I think it face planted. Yeah. Oh, shit. Can Nick join Service Nation? Uh, Nick, who's your favorite all-time Pacer? Actually, I think Nick was a Pacers fan. I'm a Pacers yeah. fan. Oh, his, his oh dad yeah. took yeah. Me to Pacers games. Oh, yeah, I went to a Pacers game a year. I grew up a Pacers fan. Ooh. What do you say, Bibbs? I'm, oh, he's I'm starting in. to All notice right. an incredible overlap between our Pacers group chat and our Tungsten group. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pacers, it's almost uh, like it's the same people. Yeah, it's almost like it's the exact same people latching on to a new thing. <laughs> For the record, I'm a Danny Granger guy. Oh, love Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Ro- 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 Hibbert? Hallie for me. I love I'm, I'm a I Halliburton like, uh, guy. Danny Ola Granger. Depot. Ola yep. Depot yep. era? Yep. Danny Granger put the work Paul in George. when they were just kind of coming back from the mouse in the palace. Kind of mm-hmm. underrated. Love it. His name in like Hansborough. Yeah. Uh, Nicki Minaj oh, lyric. Danny Green. Yep. The other O'Neal. Jermaine. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah. Jermaine. Come mm-hmm. on. Yeah. Well, they retired his number. Did, did they retire his number? No. Uh, I don't think I don't so. Know, he they did something. They did something kind to him. Uh, but I forget. Something kind to him. I've always been a big Jonathan Bender fan. Sure. Jonathan Bender. Yep. Yep. I think he was. Is he their highest draft pick? Ever, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. That might be an outrageous <laughs> statement. Bender, what a name. Uh, all right. Let's have, get right into it. First, Rick Smith uh, might have been. Sorry. 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 No, no. Hit it up with any sir. Sir, stop. You, you interrupt the sirs anytime <laughs> you want. Uh, first matchup of the day, number five versus the number 12 seed. Number five seed is Dads, which I think is a powerhouse. Everyone Ooh. loves good dad. Do we not? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a tough one to go against. <laughs> dads versus the number 12 seed, Drake. Who is kind of a uh, deadbeat one, I guess. I love Drake. Yeah, he's not a deadbeat. Can we lump in dad? the mythical? Can we lump in mythical Drake's small dragons? Small fire, fire breathing dragons. Uh, yeah, yeah. they're they're pretty cool. You ever see a picture of a Drake? No, I don't know much about cool. dragons. Uh, so huh. dads versus Drake, the rapper. Um, I think you could look around this room and figure out who submitted Drake pretty easily. Huh. No, no, actually, no. <laughs> Interesting. Was that sarcastic? No, I thought that I thought it'd be pretty easy to figure out who it would be. We're all I, white. Yeah, no, yeah, I well, guess so. Uh, a, KB, you look, guess so. KB, <laughs> you submitted Drake? I did not submit Drake. Rudy? Tommy? I submitted Drake. <laughs> oh, oh, Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> I like Drake. That, well, big deal. Well, we'll see if you like Drake more than dads. Uh, start with KB. Dads versus Drake. So this is not your dad. I think you can take it any way you want, really. Yeah, I'm going to go Drake. I think he's off. He's provided me with more pleasure more entertainment and <laughs> for a long time since the dawn of social media he's been consistently providing me entertainment whether it's in the form of me laughing at him or enjoying his music and style drake mm-hmm. I, I used there was an era where i posted like a drake meme almost every day because like the drake memes of him being like kind of nerdy and weird i really like Undergrass. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I had some fun with that. Yeah, uh, Nick, we all got to. T- we are all typing Drake the type of dude. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We all t- Drake the type of dude to hold the little candle and have like the big sleepy garment thing. <laughs> yeah, and yell, who's there at the top of the steps? Yeah, yep, it's funny. Um, I loved when he wore the big Dada suit when he was like walking suspiciously through a lobby. Yep. <laughs> oh, and he did that turn. Something. Yeah. That yeah. One. He did that weird turn. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nick. Uh. Drake is a huge pop culture blind spot for me. Uh, Clemmer brings these up all the time. I've somehow, I know like Hotline Bling and God's Plan. Yeah, but I've I've completely missed the boat on Drake. I don't have any Drake songs saved. But uh, as a I don't, Twitter user, I think from 2012 to 2024, every year he's had a gigantic moment. Yeah, but like that's that's he's that's done it an incredible job at staying right. relevant. Definitely, really, yeah. Has. Yeah. definitely yeah. Has. Best. And I think he's funny. And Every I clip I see of him is funny. He was very he funny l- on Sunday Combo. Yes. But like his, his he's famous from his music and I just I I yeah. missed it. I right. I um I'll have to go dads here. I'm I'm thankful for my pops. Uh he, I I've gotten a lot of content out of him for for a hacky Absolutely. joke. Absolutely. Um yeah, I'll go dads, but it's not a strong. This is the one or is this the five? This is the five. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's it's not it's not that strong. There's there's a lot of bad dads. Mm. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna go with dads over Drake here. Dads over Drake, Vibsy. 
I saw the movie Almost Famous for the first time ever Great this weekend. Movie. Oh, it's on my list to watch. Too. It, oh, oh, it's fantastic! fantastic. Yeah, is it all, is it fantastic? Uh, it, I like it a lot. Very yeah. good. And the uh, watchability on it, you could rewatch it a million times and you'd still enjoy it. Great soundtrack. But there's a Drake line. It's happening, Penny Lane, just like you said. And all of a sudden, that lyric clicked because Penny Lane is in the movie, mm-hmm. a character who says it's happening, it's happening, and I was like, holy fuck! So I just wanted to share that. Major but cinephile. It, Thank you. But I'm going to go with <laughs> dads. Dads are awesome. Yeah. A funny dad. You go over to a friend's house when you're growing up, and he's just cracking jokes, and you're like, oh, my God, this guy's so much better than my dad. I wish my dad was like <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go dads. Gonna yeah, go. Uh, if a kid came over to your house and was like, your dad's the man, that was a yep. that, was a felt, that felt good. Oh, oh yeah. You probably got a lot of uh, your dad's the dad man. My dad overshadowed me. Yeah. He, like, <laughs> he would hang out with my friends outside of me yeah. when we what? were like 12. In what like, context? Just, <laughs> He would like drive him to the Palace of Gold and like. Really? I was like, all right, I'll stay. Palace of Gold. Palace of Gold. We we live next to this giant Harry Krishna palace. It, but then yeah. you just hang out there. What does that Just mean? one of the most oddly placed things in the world. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very strange. There's a bunch of wild peacocks and whatnot. The Palace of Gold, and this is in West Virginia. Yeah, yeah. and you could it's do. St- an, you, it's you, immaculate. And you guys went there to hang out. Yeah, it just doesn't look like the United States, but oh it's just kind of no, down the road. Not even close. Oh yeah, this God, looks like down the, the road Dell in the middle like in of the middle of India. Yeah. <laughs> that looks awesome. What the hell? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Why is this here? It's, it's uh, crazy. Yeah, that's like more confusing than why Stonehenge is Wait. there. <laughs> this is that's crazy. not real. Is that is this yeah, real? No. Yeah, yeah, it's the is, West they Virginia live there. Culture. They no, worship it's not down there. the street. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. That's down the street from where you guys like your regular. You have regular house, regular house in this place. No, no. you have to drive out to the woods a little bit. Yeah, down down a windy road. How how close is it to the water treatment plant? Uh, it would probably be a 20 minute 20. drive. Okay, yeah. that's kind it's of It's in far. Moundsville? Yeah. Why Limestone, would you guys ever not Limestone. hang out there? This place looks amazing. I would be <laughs> well, there all the time. Moundsville also has the penitentiary and then the Indian burial so ground. So it's a penitentiary, Indian burial ground, or Native American burial ground, and then an actual yeah, sure. Indian uh, place. Here. Yeah, the Hare Krishna Palace. Yeah. This is crazy. Why? Who says West Virginia doesn't have culture? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah. You have a fucking Taj Mahal in the middle of West Virginia. This is insane. That we yeah. do. That we do. Ta- ta- uh, should I tell? Yeah. We, have, we, gonna... we really haven't brought that up enough. Yeah, not, <laughs> not enough. enough. It's so weird. Enough. <laughs> I want to go there it's so bad. It looks awesome. It's super strange. You can rent a cabin. You can rent a cabin you know, on the grounds of mm-hmm. the House of Gold? Yeah, Content? there's history. There used to be like mass murders. There were there were burials. Yeah. They would uh, oh. they would redirect the creek and bury a body where the creek would, and then undam and have the creek go back over top. Like Genghis oh, Khan. That's cool. That's kind of cool. We gotta go on. Yeah. Yeah. R- rent there, watch a Sirs game. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's boys. That's a fun yeah. night. The boys, yeah. a Harry Krishna cabin. Yeah. You guys in like the Delhi, the, the Dalai Lama guys there. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> so they all have like uh, buzzed heads, except for like the little pa- oh, patch yeah. of hair on the back. Yeah. It, little patch of hair on the back. Oh, oh, yeah. Great, like Von Miller. Yeah. yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, that was gross. I was thinking like Ra's Al Ghul what in was, the Batman movies. What was the story you were about to tell? Let's move on. No, I want to hear yeah, it so yeah, bad. Yeah, you, yeah, you got yeah. it. Well, you just said the word Taj Mahal, and <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll cut it if we have to. I want to. No, hear it, it's fine. It's fine. Growing up, uh, you know, I grew up in uh, Nassau County, but right next to me was Queens, like literally two blocks away. And in in Queens, right there, uh, a lot of Indians moved in, like a ton of Indians moved in, and they would knock down the old houses, and they would build like, you know, know, like an Indian looking house. Like they build like a- a They're they're white brick, they have, they're walled, they they share a backyard though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And they, uh, they, you Uh, know- Was it in Jamaica? There's a lot of Indians in Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica, Queens, basically. Yeah, I went to a, uh, I went to a bridal shower in an Indian- Gold railings and yeah, uh, you you know what it like. It's a, a very distinct looking house. They take walks at midnight, like family wide walks, mm. late into the night. I'm mm. unsure about that, but I believe it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they and my parents are like family would always be like, oh, they're building like whenever because like my parents grew up around there. They'd be like, oh, they're knocking down, they're building like Taj Mahals, like Taj Mahals, and like I just literally always thought that that was what the name of those houses were. And like when I was Mahal. when I was in college, like my college roommate came to visit. I was like, oh yeah, like around here they have a bunch of Taj Mahals, and he was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> are you and I was like, well, like the Indian houses, they're called Taj Mahals, and he was like, oh, he Todd. was like, no, they're not, and I was like, oh, like it was like a, a real like awakening moment of my own ignorance, where I was like, no, I was raised to believe that they're called Taj Mahals. Dude, I hate those moments. I, it's the worst when it's a word that you've never heard said out loud, but you've read, you've read, right, and like you know the definition of it, but you've just never heard it spoken out loud. Yeah. You just say it completely wrong. And someone corrects you. That's, I haven't happened to me in a while, but I, like I really, I fear those moments a lot. 
Uh, your pick, Tommy Smokes? Um, yeah, I mean, my dad called them Todd Mahomes. That's hilarious. So I have to go <laughs> dads here. Uh, no, I mean, look, I love Drake, but what I respect most about Drake is uh, how he is as a father. Uh, to Adonis, I think he's an unbelievable father. He's got a, a young budding rap career. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't talk to my man like that. That's his number one song, Adonis. It's incredible. I saw the music video and playing basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's sick. Uh, so Drake is nothing without him being a dad. I'm not keyed wow. in on enough, but I thought it was a problem trying to get him to become a dad of the kid. Am I crazy about that? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of crazy bitches out there, Ken Jack. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people have told him. <laughs> no, he really needed it wrong out of him. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of girls have said, hey, Drake, I had your baby, and then they ended up being wrong. So mm. I don't mind Drake needing to fucking check IDs at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you know here trying to get into his yeah. house? Uh, Clemmer. Yeah, I'm with Nick. Shockingly, there, I completely missed the whole Drake thing. Like, I just, I, I, I don't, I don't have, I don't. There's I, still time. I hear his music, but I don't like his music, but I also don't dislike it. It's weird. Uh, his, I'm the same way, Clemmer. If you look at his, how, how many albums he sold, it's insane. He's like one of the biggest, but I mean, he's like right yeah. there with the Beatles and Elvis. Like, he's better than the Beatles. Mm. Well, no. Sales wise, sales uh, maybe wise. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, but no, I mean he's obviously in, insanely successful too. Like, and he's like Tommy said, he's been relevant for a long time. I mean, Fifteen yeah. years now, twenty years, probably about fifteen. I feel well, like he's been around forever. No, like, even oh, longer than that with Degrassi. Degrassi yeah, yeah. Um, it just bothers me when people are like, "Oh, all Drake does is put out like popular music." It's like that the, is a a talent. Like I understand what they mean, where it's like, "Oh, it's like." low common denominator or whatever like he knows it's gonna be a tiktok dance but that's a talent in and of itself for sure should popular not even be a genre like it has to achieve popularity right i don't i never understood popular because drake released it yeah drake drake loves being drake yeah more than anything it must be pretty cool i guess right yeah yeah being drake i I imagine i don't know him Uh, also like kind of adapting the personalities of like who he's dating like with rihanna he kind of like shifted to a caribbean personality he was a little bit yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah. very funny Great one dons. Yep. So I, but I haven't had a dad for thirty years. Been dead since ninety four. So oh. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go more. I guess I gotta go go with dads, but I can't imagine this will go very far for me. Mm-hmm. I will say, da- uh, Clemmer, you have no worries. Your dad's in heaven because he's in fifteen different religions. He picked right. That's right. He bet on all the horses. <laughs> yeah, but his son's like basically like an agnostic. So I, I don't. I don't, nah, I don't, I don't think, think he is anywhere. I think we're, I think we just go to he, sleep. He bet and it's on over. every horse, man. Did you yeah. have a good relationship with your dad? Yeah, yeah. It was. He got sick. He got kind of. You know, he got sick when I was nine. So it was kind of. A, it's a weird oh. relationship. But yeah, mm. gotcha. and then he died when I was fourteen. So mm. it was a weird relationship. Damn. Mm. But it, it was it was good before he got sick. It was very good. The got Pacers play over. tonight. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. we can have right. we can have a no conversation. He got okay. weird. You, you stopped fucking with him when he got sick. No, he, <laughs> <laughs> your, your whole vibe just switched up. No, when when people when people uh, get sick in their forties, they get very angry, which is understandable. But mm. yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not Agreed. Much, not yeah. much fun for the family. Yeah. He, was, <laughs> but, he was so angry about it. He was, he was pissed. <laughs> yeah, he was understandable. Uh, but like I said, it got, was, yeah. We got one for Drake coming in. Oh, oh yeah, one more for Drake. Drake. Drake versus dads. This is get one more for Drake. One more for Drake. It would still be dads. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give yeah. you the chance, Rudy. This is Drake versus dads. Drake versus dads? Yeah. Yes. Um, this is tricky because his most famous quote, one of them is, you can always bet on fatherhood. Ooh. Yeah, but you, mm-hmm. you, the fact that you knew a Drake quote that wasn't in a song, you're going to go Drake. Yeah, I'm going to go Drake. Yeah, yeah. no, you are. Uh, yeah, yep. too. What does that quote um, mean? You can always bet on fatherhood. I don't know. What does that mean? It I made mean, no sense. It was can't. during Sunday conversation. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> it, it makes perfect sense. You can always bet on fatherhood. But you can't. People don't have dads. But you people, literally can't. Clipper's dad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bet what happened? Yeah. What happened to that bet? If I make that bet, 1995, what happens? Look, I'm not, <laughs> you know, he said it, not me. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Drake is going to move on. Or sorry, Dad's is going to move on. Uh, next matchup, we have the number four seed versus the thirteen seed. The four, uh, four seed is Dips. I love this one. Dips are great. And then when you think about it more and more, like a lot of things. Oh, you what do you, what? Like, like ranch dips or a dill dips. dip. Oh, I oh, mean, like, like, a ruffle, like a ruffle and a fucking dill dip. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I thought French you, onion. You were talking yeah. about buffalo French chicken. French onion dip. Ugh. Buffalo chicken dip. Spinach, spinach artichoke. dip. Artichoke dip. Tommy. Oh, are, are we counting <laughs> salsa? Is salsa a dip? Salsa is a dip. Salsa is a dip. Oh, wow. Salsa is a dip. Strong. Yep, dips in number four seed. I did, I seeded it high for a reason, fellas. Uh, and that's going up against number thirteen seed Dens. Uh, I really like this one too. I, well, it depends on if you didn't call it like a living room or something. I called it Dens growing up. I love it because it just implies like a little sense of family. Well, I had to a it. den in a living room. That's what I. That's, oh, yeah. So like, oh, no, 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 no. that's my understanding. 
I had a living room and a rec room. Yeah, they call it different things where depending oh. on where you grew up. The I rec call- room would be the den. Really? Yeah. Yes. Depending on where you... I, I think of a, a den, den as like a, a manly like a den. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. A den is like below, like you take steps down to it, right? Oh, no. Yeah. My den yes. was on my... Well, it depends on if you're like a high ranch. If you're a high ranch, the den is definitely down below. I think a den is also an office, right? Can your den... Your den just needs a leather chair. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's really it. Wood paneling of some kind. A brown yeah. field. Yeah, so your very dad brown. keeps his gun. Yeah, brown for <laughs> I, I, I think of secrets. Yeah, there's always secrets in the den. Oh, yeah. That's where every like wife catches the husband's, <laughs> yeah. re- gets his receipts. Of I feel like you, yeah. you built forts Infidelity. in the den as a kid, probably. Yeah. What? You built forts in the den. Yeah, the absolutely. den is where my dad took calls and smoked his pipe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. The that, den, that, is, oh, the den is where office. like the kids all hung out. Like if you had a oh. summer party, it's in the oh, den. Oh no, yeah. Mr. Mr. Brady from the bunch, he would he would have his own den to mm-hmm. go do work. I think that's not a, that's not that's, no, a that's man the office. Cave. That's the well, office. Let's not is get it, confused is, with man. Is a den? A, is the den? Is that a is that a room in Clue? Uh, I don't think Clue so. do for those in the UK. I don't think so. <laughs> but I like de- den. Den is, is a great way. I mean, I think that, weirdly <laughs> enough, like, your description of it being brown, I think, is dead on. I, I mean, think growing it's, up, I, know, I, I had a oh no, it's Hunter Green. Oh no, that's an office. You're thinking of an office. It's forest green. If you, in the 80s, thinking, it was all wood panel. You might be thinking of an office. I think I'm thinking of an office. This might guy. be a, a dark lair, maybe, or like a man cave. Very, yeah, just dark and holy. To me, a man cave, though, is usually a basement. But yeah, I never you had could a have den. a man cave in a den. All right. All I right. never had a den. Yeah. I guess I didn't either. So dips versus dens. Uh, I'll start with you, Clemmer. Uh, by the way, this whole conversation does not bode well for dens. Uh, I'm going to go dens. I have I have good memories as a kid growing up and, and playing board games, hanging out, summer parties, whatever. We'd all hang out in the den. Mm-hmm. Your TV is in the den. I mean. And I also don't like cheese. So I don't have a ton of dips, but I do like salsa. I feel like you you definitely fuck with dips, don't you? I'll have the French onion, but then I'll get sick. But it tastes so good. <laughs> mm. You get it sick so from in the French onion? I don't know. The creamy. There's I don't know. The dairy, dairy of the cream. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> so it happens. <laughs> uh, di- one for dens. Tommy. I, I got to go dips here. I mean, I, I you know, I, dips... Uh, uh, Elevate everything. Elevate. I'm not gonna eat chips without dip. A French mm. onion dip, like a buffalo chicken dip. Oh my god! Versatile word too. If you think about it, like not even that dip. There's also like dip, like in your mouth. That's what dip. I thought you meant initially. Right. Then there's also like I'm leaving. I'm gonna dip. There's a lot of oh. dip. You're, you're forgetting pate as well. Pate. Also like going down. It's a dip. It took a dip. Yeah. There's a uh, versatile word. Versatile. Versatile. What word. about a dipping sauce? A dipping, dipping sauce. sauce. That's a yeah, that's yeah, yeah. a dip. Okay. dip. All right. You get you know chicken nugget. Get some fucking uh, oh like the barbecue or the hot yeah, that counts. That's oh, a dip. Man. So I'm I'm going dips here. Dips are good. One for dip. Vibsy. Mm. Den. I did not have a den growing up. Oh no, I'm not betting den. But I'm just saying den. Uh, Tommy Moorhead, coolest kid out of school, had a den. I went over to his house spent the night one time. <sighs> so fucking cool. His parents like ah oh, the den, loved it. Uh, but a dip. Putting your chip into a. Five layer dip, yeah. Right. But then finding out there's a sixth and seventh layer. It's a seven layer dip. Uh-huh. Oh, mm. I'm going dip, going mm-hmm. dip. That's a go. Oh, that description just made me so hungry. Uh, Nick. So you know the Taco Bell seven layer burrito? Mm-hmm. I think they count the tortilla as one of the layers, oh, which bullshit. I think is a little oh, fucked up. Yeah, that that's shouldn't bullshit. count. The like, Earth's crust, like the wouldn't like the top soil, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's still you gotta a layer. count that. You gotta count that. It's still right. a layer. Vibs, Vibs just instantly beat me in the argument with yeah. a really sound logic. <laughs> I concede. Earth's <laughs> crust. Uh, I concede. Uh, uh, that's <laughs> New York versus Chicago. Done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick, I just got buried. Um, <laughs> in the Earth's crust. Oh yeah. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, take that, Windy yeah. City Mafia. <laughs> shit. No, nah, you're in the mantle at this point. You gotta go. You gotta go. Dips here, man. I made a seven layer dip oh, for a yeah. new, uh, New Year's party. Kyle, did you yeah, have it? Was it was so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I put it in that aluminum what were the tray. Layers? Uh, refried beans, pico, cheese. You need a good chip for that. Sour cream. I got a toastito scoop. Mm. Um. Um, I I only helped make it, but that doesn't matter. It was delicious. It was a fan favorite, and that felt good. Dips are great. <laughs> Dips are you, great. Have you guys had late July chips? The uh, fuck late that? July. I think chips? it's I think it's the name of the brand of tortilla chip. It's really damn good. I started with them recently. They're amazing. Guys, try them. I'm a hint of lime man myself, Agreed. but. Uh, yeah, dips are great. I've been getting dips as appetizers a lot lately. Mm. Mm. Late July, I like that. That's like a great a good, time of year. Yeah. Uh, KB. Yeah, dips will take a food item from a five to a nine. I would go to. I would pay money to go to like a a dip museum with mm-hmm. a blank with um a sack of 
plain chips and try like a hundred different dips. That's an incredible dip. idea. idea. That's an incredible idea. Right. I, I don't a know museum, if museum is the yeah. right. Not museum. <laughs> it's, like a dip uh, it's like a stand-up buffet. A style. dip buffet. Right. Yeah. There's a hundred different dips. You got a bunch of. Plain you have chips. A, a, like a, you have like a cat burglar bag yeah. of dip, or even a, of binder, chips. Of chips. a binder of mm-hmm. chips. I, that's I an amazing dips, idea. Yeah. I'm a, I'm in a pimento phase. You're in pimento. Oh my god! And lest we forget au jus, that takes the French dip from oh. a boring sandwich Ooh, yeah. to a top tier sandwich. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn right, uh, Rudy. It's a no brainer. It's dip. It's absolutely dip. No question. It's got to be dip. Dens. Dens. I feel like Dens. You know, kind of fell off. When was the last time? I don't know when the last time I encountered a den was. It's clearly dip. I think you're right about that. Uh, dip is going to move on. Next matchup, the number eight versus the nine. I said we wouldn't do it whenever we do letter ones, but I feel like I had to. Double Ds. I, I just saw it, and I'm like, double Ds is going to have to make it. It's some sort of titty one is going to have to make it onto here. <laughs> Plus, it's alliteration. It's two different D things. I have to put it on mm-hmm. there. Uh, and that's up against the number nine seed, Doctors. Um, mm. One that we might not think about too much, maybe, but one we should be maybe more thankful for. So, double D's versus doctors. Rudy. <laughs> That's uh, one vote for double D's. Double D's. <laughs> it is a bit tricky, though, because doctors are a supply of double D's yeah, sure, in this current the age we live in. You forgot. About, Rudy forgot about natties. Oh, Rudy oh, forgot oh, about yeah. natties. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, dude. Oh, just blissfully ignorant to Natty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a retro thing. I just. Oh my god. A boobies still. Yeah, yeah. Boobies still, double D's, KB. Yeah, I don't want to live in a world where I have to deal with another clip of me rhapsodizing about breasts on Twitter. So <laughs> I will go doctors, especially surgeons. <laughs> Specifically surgeons. <laughs> Nick? <laughs> Uh, double D's too big. Okay. It, yeah. 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 Could be hard. That was a rough one. It's the perfect size. It's the smallest I'll take. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, it depends on the frame, and if it makes the woman feel more beautiful, then go oh, ahead. No. Boo. Uh, Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going doctors. Two for doctors. Fa- Sorry. Yeah. Uh, two for doctors, one for double D. Vibsy. Haven't been to the doctor in years. Don't trust him. Double D's, when you're fucking and those things are flopping around. Oh, oh, oh that makes me believe there's a god. Oh, god, double D's tied up. Yeah, I, I really didn't want to just be like, oh, well, we're going to move double D's over. But I can't. I mean, who would who would, who would would I be if I don't choose double? I mean, but I also really like you're going to You're a hypochondriac. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're, that's, that's, you're, you're, you're full of shit. A tit-loving hypochondriac. Yeah, that's <laughs> the worst nightmare. I'm in a fucking rock and a hard place right now. But, like, I don't like going to the doctor. I appreciate the doctor. But you like the feeling after the doctor. Mm-hmm. Not you don't always. Like, sometimes, <laughs> I get, sometimes I get more nervous. And I just got a fucking No, but you like the feeling when you yeah. were, uh, what, yeah. You're yeah, in yeah. between a rock and a hard okay. place, and my hard place is rock hard thinking yeah. about the double D's. Yeah. Hello. Double D's. <laughs> All right, double D's it is. Double D's. Three to two in favor of double D's. Yeah, it's doctors. I mean, oh, oh, boring. You, no, you can. You, you, <coughs> what no. about a doctor with double D's? Oh, no, I mean, God. doctor is no. saying that because double D's would collapse your rib cage. They would were laid upon. <laughs> so it. you're saying basically, you. you're basically saying you'd rather fuck a doctor than no, a group that's double not D's. What I'm that's saying. basically what you're saying. I'm <laughs> saying no, this. I didn't like that. Wait, <laughs> Tommy, you said you'd rather fuck a doctor no, than Congress a girl. Basically Did saying you know you'd rather fuck a doctor than a girl with double D's. Oh, rather fuck a doctor or a girl. <laughs> There's the, the double D's is not the only size. There's many great sizes. Mm-hmm. Doctors, meanwhile, save they prolong our lives. They help save our lives. If, if you don't pick doctors, you're a moron. <laughs> I mean, you're just dumb. I want to die happy. <laughs> All right, then we're tied up. Double D's and doctors. Um, I I feel like doctors get knocked out by whatever wins the next one. So I'll go double D's to keep it interesting, just to see how they fare in the next one. Oh, catch up. Yeah, yeah, that's why you did it. Keep it interesting. (laughs) I want to see how it fares versus the winner. See, babe, I I said it was to keep it interesting. Excuse me, I just want to see how your double D's fare here. (laughs) Uh, That's going to go up against. I can't wait to make that graphic, by the way. Uh, That's going up against the number uh, one seed versus the chain game winner. Start with the chain options. Uh, First being dragons. A lot of people had different types of dragons. We'll just put all that includes. Drakes, which you were talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, but would it include wyverns? Yes, absolutely. All are mm. kind of me thing. If you breathe fire and a reptilian in nature, you are kind of so a dragon. Griff- griffin as well. No, no, no. That's as a that has a face of a bird. Does it not? That's bird and lion. Yeah, bird, lion, and snake at the end. 
Are you confused? Wait, maybe hippogriff? I just had a fundamental understanding of what a griffin was. Did not I don't get okay, it. Okay. It's like a flying bird, isn't it? I, a, a I thought it was... A, a, a griffin's was, half lion, half eagle. I thought mm. it was like a smaller yeah. dragon. No. I I was that's a drake. drake. Yeah. That's a drake. Uh, Dave, the TV show from Little Dicky, was that on here. Great show. I love uh, that show. It's fine. Uh, Dice. Um, so I put Dinkelberg from Fairly Odd Parents. Mm-hmm. Great callback option. Uh, dinosaurs. Dressing as in for salad. Uh, and then a couple of interesting ones that I don't totally understand. Dinga Dinga. All right. All right. Let's have uh, fun yes, with that's what that's what everybody comments on Maresh's Instagram post. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did not put that together. Uh, Ding- yeah. So Dinga Dinga is one. Uh, Dijon. It's, 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 it's the... Uh, the written out term of the song by Punjabi and see ding 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 yep. ding 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 yep. uh, an anthem. Dijon mustard was one that one I understand. Ooh. I get a great mustard. Uh, Dijon mustard is really good. And the Dupont registry. What what is that? Is that the the drugs. That was me. Yeah. Um, the Dupont registry is my favorite magazine. Uh, <laughs> as a kid, I loved the Dupont registry. It's just a magazine of cars. Oh. Okay, I think I remember that. So we can take that one off the list to that <laughs> after that resounding silence. I just love the Dupont <laughs> Registry. I've never seen this before. I mean, what did you th- be, be, did you think everyone's gonna be like? Oh, the fucking oh, Dupont oh, Registry! Oh, I can't. Why did he beat me to it? <laughs> I said that first. How was that not a one seed? <laughs> this is just like the most. It's every every, every single. I'm looking at just like the Dupont Registry. Every single one is just the same exact thing, just a slightly different car. This is yeah. It actually, it does rules. look kind of cool. Oh. Auto Trader, I ain't got this month. Yeah, like it literally, is yes. cool. <laughs> it is cool. Uh, and then also darts, as in cigarettes, which fair enough. Uh, oh. so, so again, we'll run through it again. Dragons, Dave, um, Dice, Dinkelberg, dinosaurs, dressing for salad, uh, darts, Dinga, Dinga, Dijon mustard, and the Dupont registry. Rudy, which one do you want to see move on to face the one seed? It's a to me, it's a two horse race. It's tough. Dragons and Dinga, Dinga to me are the most. Um, impactful. Mm-hmm. Um, I have much more of a. I don't know a dragon. I'm much closer to the Dinga Dinga universe. I'm in that orbit. So, because of that and my my closeness to it, I'm going to go Dinga Dinga. One for Dinga Samantha. Dinga, KB. And it's not just the song. It's just the. It's sort of like an. It's like a credo. Fair enough. In a way. Yeah, it's between Dinga Dinga and dinosaurs for me. I don't think we as a society as adults aren't don't appreciate and I don't think we're as awestruck as we should be by the existence of dinosaurs mm-hmm. and you how do big stop and caring cool about they that were yeah, when you become an adult. True. For the most part, I it feel does. like dinosaurs is you think about it a lot more as a kid. The popularity falls yeah. off when you hit like twelve. Mm. Yeah. But it's sh- they're so fascinating mm-hmm. still, yeah. even more so now that like we actually grasp that they were real. Yeah. Could you lump dragons in with dinosaurs? Fuck no. I'm not a no. 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 <laughs> No. Why, why not? Oh, absolutely not. Dragons are fake. Dragons are fantasy. I don't like that fantasy stuff. Yeah, dinosaurs but Clemmer, are how, real. Why? How, how did how did multiple cultures have mm-hmm. dragons in their That's history? True. And they've never interacted. Ah, lizards breeding fire. I don't think it's that creative. Is it? It's for, for multiple yeah. different. On is it that crazy of a thought? It's, but why did everyone choose? First of all, they're not lizards. They're fucking huge. Do we think that dragons no. are real? Is that what so, we're insinuating? I no, I don't think they were. I don't think so. I don't either. think they blew fire. No, no. I think I, I think you could say for certain they weren't real. But yeah, dragons. Are interesting. Not. I mean, how do we know? How do we know? And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not purposely. Uh, uh, I'm not, no, no, no. I'm being serious here. How do we know any of the dinosaurs didn't breathe fire? That's that's kind of why I said lump them together. Okay. They could have. Yeah. They could have. Like, is there? Would they have a special like, like body part that would expound the fire? You know what I mean? I like, they probably would have seen that in the. I think I the don't... movie Rain of Fire had the dragons like breathing a gas, and then they could also like spark under their tongue, and that's yeah. what made the fire. I don't think dragons always cool. breathe fire because nothing and, else breathes fire. And we fire. exhale gas. It didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing else is like dinosaurs. Mining, right? Kind of. Yeah, there are. Some things are kind of like dinosaurs. Nothing breathes fire. There's nothing like a T Rex out there. No, but like you can see, a, you can kind of get the gist. We have an, we have lizards that like squirt blood out of their eyes at creatures for defense. Oh, I'm wow. assuming some of them can make. But fire is different than blood. We have blood in us. We don't have fire in us. Yeah, but some have fire is a whole blood. different. You've got no fire. In yeah, you. Right. you have no fire. No, oh, no. Fire. Yeah. But some of them. I mean, cows have methane in them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, do we. So do we. Yeah. But we don't. That's a very combustible gas. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think anything. I don't, I'll say this. I'll say this for the record. I don't think anything has walked the earth that has breathed fire on its own. Absolutely I not. So too, I Clemmer. will own that statement too. You can quote me on that. You can All quote right. me on that. Uh, so, are you going to go with dinosaurs, Katie? Uh, yeah, I'm going dinosaurs. One for dinos, Nick. 
dinosaurs easily. Love dinosaurs. I've I, my biggest tattoo, I believe, is a Stegosaurus. Really? Uh, you believe? Mm-hmm. You're not sure? Huh? You're not sure? Oh yeah, you do. I believe it's the biggest tattoo uh, I have. Mm. Um, love, love dinosaurs. Was obsessed with dinosaurs as a kid. The only toys I played with. Uh, they're incredible. And yeah, people, uh, you age out of liking dinosaurs, which is insane because they. Like Kyle said, it they're awe, they, they, they're awe, and they, they they make you feel awe, they make you feel wonder. Yeah, and it's crazy because no. like it is like a mythical creature, except they were real. Yeah. you know what I mean. Like yeah. it has mythical status to us as kids, where we're like, that's the craziest yeah, thing I've ever that, heard. As kids, I lumped them in with dragons and the like, and leprechauns. Mm-hmm. And, but now, like, oh wow, yeah, dinosaurs are a part of the Earth's history. Mm-hmm. And we're, are they multicolored like pop culture depicts them to be, like purple and no, orange? No, no, I think I a lot of them were so. feathered. A lot of feathers. Feathered. Feathered. Yeah, feathered? Velociraptor. Really? Was. Feathered? Velociraptor. Yeah. Velociraptor was covered oh, that, in feathers. All the better. Pterodactyl. So t- uh, yeah, like Tyrannosaurus Rex no. had feathers. I think a lot. No, but it wasn't as cool as you thought. Oh. So, no, they were green and pink and different colors. They're pink. Yeah, yeah. That's like the oh. worst. Like they had leathery of all time. skin. Yeah, I feel. That's what I imagined. Yeah, yes. feathers are cool. Though. I didn't expect a lot of feathers. That's what I yeah, says. A lot of feathers. Raptors had a lot of feathers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Um, so you're going with dinosaurs, Nick Vibsy? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to go dinosaurs. I thought about it, but dressing, mm-hmm. dressing salads suck. Dressing is the only yeah. good part about a salad. So uh, dressing gets me through a salad. I'm going to go dressing. kind of sauce the more I'm thinking a about it. A good balsamic. It is. It is. It's not a dip, though. True. Not a yeah. dip. It's yeah. Not a dip. It can be. Good dip I'll dip cheese it in Italian dressing. Yeah, well, that's weird. I, I'm not. I'm not. It's definitely weird. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, you'll dip cheese? I mean, cheese anything it's, can be. Oh. It's fucking soda can be a dip then. Like Anything can be yeah, a dip. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. No, but I, but I do it. Designed I as a dip is what we're yeah, looking for. I, yeah, yeah that's, fair. that's fair. I'm just saying. It's a dressing. It dresses the salad. Yeah. You don't dip the salad into the dressing. That's fair. Uh, I hate b- dressing on the side when people do that. That's oh, psychotic. I don't like that either. Do it I for me. Mix I- it in, uh, Tommy. Um, I just really like the show Dave by Little Dicky. <laughs> I just really like it's maybe my favorite show currently on. Uh, I like it a lot. I like the music in it. Um, you know, you said it's the character you've related to the most on a television show. Did I say that? You have, yeah. Yeah, I I uh, think there's a lot. He. he he encapsulates what it's like to be a white male better than anyone I've ever uh, mm-hmm. seen on TV. Um, I think I recently, I don't know, you've probably seen this, uh, his like cypher, whatever they call it, when they do like the XXL thing with like the freshman class. Yeah. Like it was him and then Panda and then a couple other, not who's the Panda guy, designer? Designer, yeah. yeah. And a couple other people. And he was the only competent rapper out of the whole group. And I, because I just constantly forget he's a legitimate yeah. great he's rapper. He's a great rapper. Like yeah. he just put out a new album that was really good. You know, my, sometimes the dick stuff's a little much for me. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think it's just a really fucking good show. <laughs> the Brad Pitt Chinese accent made me laugh very hard <laughs> in that recent season. That killed me. Uh, so one for Dave. Right now the winner is Dinos with two votes so far, Clemmer. Yeah, I'm good with dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are Hell di- yeah. Jurassic Park's awesome. Dinosaurs are cool. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs are good. So dinos are going to go up against another animal, dogs. Uh, pretty obvious one seed one. Where if we can't have Dave Portnoy out, but again, we're going for the second best thing that starts with D. Uh, so dinos versus dogs, Clemmer. Yeah, I'll try not to cry. Uh, I had to put my dog down last weekend. Um, Wait, what? Oh, sorry, Clemmer. Yeah, yeah, Wakefield. Man. No. Yeah. Oh man, it was yeah. old. That's fourteen and a half. Right? Yeah. Um, just really, really tough. But uh, he's an awesome dog. He's like my best friend. He's with me like when moments are, you know, they're, they're with you all the time. They're with you when things are going great. They're with you when things are shitty. You come home from a bad day, a good day, whatever. They're always there, happy to see mm-hmm. you. Dogs are the ultimate friend. Um, I love Wakefield so much. Uh, mm-hmm. Dogs, easy for me. RP Wakefield, that's a great dog. Great, great dog. dog. Oh, great dog yeah. name too. Yes, he, he was. He was the best. He was fourteen and a half. So it was definitely. It definitely was his time. There was no. I probably mm-hmm. waited too long. Probably Wait, name name Wakefield. Yeah, after Tim after Wakefield, who also passed. Correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not a, not wow. a great. Weird, not, yeah. not a great Ooh. few months for Wakefield's. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no Wakefield. Yeah, very sorry, Clemens. Thank mm-hmm. you. Wakefield dog was incredible. Um, uh, you great, great, great dog. Uh, but like I said, it was his time. Fourteen and a half. Mm-hmm. It definitely was his time. And but, what, uh, name, uh, what do you call it? What's your Melfi? Right. Melfi. Uh, Melfi. Two great dogs. Yeah, I have a gold retriever and Melfi. She's almost four. She's doing great. And mm-hmm. thank God we have another dog. It just makes it easier because we had like. Throw, oh yeah. You gotta like throw out their stuff. It's so hard. Uh, at least you have yeah. another dog. You're not throwing everything out. You don't feel as. But oh yeah, yeah it was yeah. last weekend. It was a lot of tears. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. to Wakefield. Yes. Uh, Tommy. I think I'm gonna fucking choose dinosaurs after that. Jesus. <laughs> 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 dogs. Bibsy. If dinosaurs were waiting on you when you got home, I'd pick dinosaurs, but yeah, you know, dog. Dog? Yep. Nikki? Uh, no better feeling than coming home to a dog. Uh, unconditional love, man. Mm-hmm. I'm, giving do- I'm going dog. Dog? KB? 
Yeah, my cat has changed my life for the better more than I ever could have imagined. And I just think if it would just ever even showed an inch or an iota of love back to me, <laughs> how rewarding that would be. So I, I can just based on how I know a dog would feel as a pet, I'm going to go dog. Fair enough, Rudy. Dog. Dog. That's an easy one. Uh, all right, before we get to the other half of the bracket, let's hear from our second sponsor of the day, Factor. I love, I mean, I love when we get Factor as a sponsor because it's one of my favorite ones we have. Uh, yeah. Legitimately incredible meal service. Like, the, I mean, we talk about it all the time with like um, all the other ones that, uh, that are out there and all that stuff. Like, Factor is legit. You put it in your microwave two and a half minutes, and it is as if someone just literally made the meal right in front of you. It tastes that good. And it's not bullshitting. Like, dead serious. If I could eat nothing but Factor the rest of my life, that's what I would do. I had a shrimp yeah. and steak one, and it was incredible. Good portions. Good everything. Everything about it is great. Um, we had Factor before they were even a sponsor. Yes. Like, we had Factor in my house before that. That's okay. Exactly. Uh, get started on your resolutions with Factor so that you're ready for the new year. Uh, Factor is ready to eat meal delivery. It takes the stress out of meal planning and lets you set up for success in the new year. You can skip grocery mm-hmm. stores, prep work, cooking fatigue, and instead get chef catered. Uh, dietitian approved meals delivered directly to your door with over 35 meals to choose from per week. That includes uh, options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, and veggie, plus more, plus over 55 weekly add ons. You get a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. There's, by the way, there's shakes, the smoothies. Delicious. Unreal. The smoothies oh, are my, so good. The, the, they're my favorite part. Yes. The, the juices, I'm, the I've, I've been a smoothie guy forever, and that's the best. I don't if, know I didn't have to, if I didn't have to chew food ever again, I wouldn't. <laughs> it's weird, too, because like, you think like in your my brain, I'm like, oh, smoothies need to be made like right before you eat, you, you drink them, whatever. But like they are packaged, sent to you, and they're still amazing. After days in the fridge, too. It's crazy. Um, stress less over mealtimes in the new year. Factors, no prep, no uh, less mess meals. Free up time otherwise spent shopping, cooking, and, uh, and cleanup. No more wasting time in the kitchen. Head to factormeals.com slash LCB50 and use code LCB50 to get 50% off. That's code LCB50 at factormeals.com slash LCB50 to get 50% off. Shout out to Factor. We love you guys. Uh, all right. Other half of the bracket. First matchup. Number six versus the 11 seed. The six seed is Deli's. Uh, mm-hmm. Deli's is a good very one. strong one. That's a good one. Very strong one. That's going. I to, feel like this is going to be a New York bubble one. Though. Yep. It might be, but I mean, Bodega Deli's would be more exist. the bubble thing. Delis exist. I agree. Yeah. Um, and that's going up against number eleven. See, Dunks. We've talked about Dunks a lot on this uh, show before. We're all big fans of dunking in general. Wish we could do it. Love to watch it. Uh, so, dunking versus Delis. Start with you, Rudy. Um. I guess I'll be in the minority here, but I've never found dunking to be that remarkable. I think it's cool, but in the whole wide world of sports, I don't find it to be that. For, you're saying yeah, like it's it's not a rare event. The players for uh-huh. being that tall, yeah, you're going to be able to just jump up a little bit and put it in. Yes, that's how I feel. Nate Robinson was the only time I really gave total respect to dunking because it was a it was like a he was jumping like an ant. Like thirty four times his body size. It's yeah, that's coolest a weird comparison. It's coolest that's when it's miraculous. unexpected. Like when you're a kid, <laughs> yeah. When the a kid in your class dunks for the first time, it's awesome. Like Nate Robinson was awesome because he's five five or whatever. Like mm. I agree, it's not like cool when fucking Dwight Howard dunks. Mm-hmm. Yes, and to me, delis are incredible and very important to the success of the United States. So I'm going to go delis. Mm-hmm. Delis, KB. Yeah, delis were just for the convenience sake. I've had some very mediocre and downright horrible <laughs> meals from delis in New York. I think they are a bit overrated on that end. But Not oh, right, can, delis. Yeah, no, everyone tells me that. Um, <laughs> but I loved them getting, you know, snack, nicotine, drink, mm-hmm. smoothie. Are we also counting delis in like bagel. supermarkets too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I, so. Or only like enough. the deli as we know it in New York, which is more of like a standalone store. I was thinking the store. But I mean, I was thinking like an Italian deli you walk in. Oh, like a sandwich s- place? Yeah, like super sod hanging from the fucking uh, ceiling. Yeah, and those like, are a treat. Yeah, yeah, and like go they got a bunch regardless. of stuff out. You know, you got a potato mm. salad out, some yeah. chicken cutlets. Yeah. Oh, their chicken cutlets are good too. A little pasta salad. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's what I was thinking. Stuff for a barbecue too, mm-hmm. that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, we've talked about it before. It's like a dream to have like a sandwich named after me in oh. a deli. That's like you need. You a, might. There's some yeah. place in New Jersey that has a bunch of barstool sandwiches. Really? Probably not me. I'll be honest. It might be KB and Nick and you, but that that's probably no. the stretch of it. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> just a Rudy know. in there. I would have eaten me. Oh, I would have scarfed you down. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nick, I would have eaten you. Yeah. KBLT. 
Oh, <laughs> man. Mm -hmm. I would have been pissed. Why? What a, what a disgrace. <laughs> uh, I won't say it. That's the, per it's that's like the perfect sandwich. sandwich. Yes, those are it's all add-ons. Add those sandwich. are all add-ons. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it. It's you're using a Wait, that is a good point. Bacon isn't my favorite protein, not even top 10 to have on a sandwich. But it's a and sandwich of add-ons. lettuce and tomato, are, that's and automatic. Yeah, I'm going to get that on any sandwich. But it's like a nice, crisp, refreshing sandwich. It's light. It is crisp and We're refreshing. We're talking about crisp and it's a like a summer night sandwich. Yes, it's, oh. a, it's, a, it's a great lunch. Mm -hmm. I would take a hundred gr grilled cheeses <laughs> on my team. But that's heavy. Like the BLT is nice and light. Like you don't feel like a f uh, bacon, mayo, bread. Yeah, but that's better without <laughs> the like the more processed meat. It's not for me. It's not for me. I want uh, yeah. I want more meat, more cheese. There's no meat. Any cheese. Mm. Grilled cheese. There might not be meat. That's just Definitely bread and not. cheese. Yeah. But that's, that's how much I like cheese I on like a sandwich. I like throwing ham and a grilled cheese. <laughs> mm. I think, I think, I think cheese. you need cheese on a sandwich. It's a ham and cheese. cheese. Yeah, it's no, not no, a grilled no. cheese. It's, it's a grilled cheese. ham and cheese. I think if you no, make a grilled no, cheese no. and you put ham on, it's grilled cheese territory. It's no longer a ham and cheese Still sandwich. Still grilled cheese with ham. Yeah. Uh, Nick? Right. Yeah, yeah. So what would the other sport equivalent be of dunking? Like a double a single grand like, slam. What? like would it no, Really? No, no, no. 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 It's not. You're right, it's not. You'll have like four grand slams a year. Yeah, you're right. Fuck, if you're I don't a good, know. If you're a good team, it's a good point. Happen. They're a dime a dozen. And then the dunk contest is cool. That is kind of cool. Some delis. Yeah, the, I'm I, I'm going with the convenience here. <sighs> it's got to be. Yeah, delis, I'm going to go yeah. delis. I'm going to go delis. Three for delis. I'm the dunk contest. I'm with you, Nick. Is cool, but I'm a little tired. Like they've done every dunk you can do. <laughs> like there's, we've run out of stuff. It's been, it hasn't been going but, like 10 years. Mm. But a dunk in the middle of the game just brings the crowd into it. Yeah. So yeah. I got to go dunk. A steal it, there, and a dunk? A steal and a dunk. Yeah, a fast break. Oh, yeah, it's, it's it's a dunk. I think when the other team has to call a timeout because you dunked it so hard, that has got to be the best feeling. Yep, yep. Crowd's erupting. Everyone's on their feet. I, I, there's so many people in New York being like, oh, man, you got to try my deli. And it's just it, it's ass, ass. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> Just, don't New Yorkers Glenn, just don't let Glenny Balls hear you say that about my uh, hero. Glenny Balls has has said, said that before. I've heard him over say like, "Oh, everyone has to go to my deli. It's the best." And I'm like, "All right." Mm. Is it just the deli that you grew up closest to? Like, I don't. What's a good deli? The one right across from the office in New York was that? Is that a good deli? No, no. There's one. <laughs> God, there's no. one a couple blocks away that was great. <laughs> it was ass. I would go get a chicken salad sandwich from there like every day. That, it did the trick. That to though. me was a bodega more than a deli. Yes, I agree. Oh, oh, uh, I don't. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the difference. I eat there, but it's just bodega is more a convenience store. Yeah, uh, right. Deli is more meat centric, food centric, or, or is, is the like priority food first? Yes. Yeah. Don't think I've ever been to a deli. I think I have to go dunking. Mm, There's an incredible deli in a story. I wish I could think of the name of it. Uh, that it's just it's perfect. It's, it has everything right. So he swapped up. It's now two to two. Tom? Yeah. Delis, yeah. I mean, maybe it is, you know, uh, obviously there's a lot on Long Island more than, like, than the rest of America, but yeah, good deli. I mean, but even a bad, I don't know, I fucking love I mean, yeah, I am thinking of like, you know, I went to Fordham and like you walk into delis on Arthur Avenue and you just smell all the Italian food, the cured meats, the cheese. It's heaven. It's it's heaven on earth. Uh, dunking, yeah, I agree. Dime a dozen. Uh, I'm going to go dun uh, delis. Three to two in favor of dunking. Yeah, favorite delis. Sorry, sorry, in delis. Yeah, yeah, de delis. Uh, dunk, dunking is. Uh, I mean, a great dunk if Shaq dunks and it knocks the takes the whole backboard down. That's exciting. But like, how often does that happen? Like, a average dunk means nothing to me. A good deli, you can go get cold cuts for the week. You can get stuff for dinner. You can get stuff. For, you've got lunch spot. Delis are a great deli is so amazing. Delis mm -hmm. in a walk. Delis uh, is going to move on. Next matchup, uh, number three seed. Someone submitted diners, drive-ins, and dives. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't me, but I fucking love it. Diners, drives, and dives. Yeah. And I liked it, so I'm adding it in. Uh, and that's going to get some 14 seed dumplings. Uh, no, was not me, promise. Uh, I start with you, Clever. <laughs> so I need clarification here. Are we talking about the actual show or the, the actual things of a diner I think slash both, a drive-in? So all those things count. I think the show plus all three. I think you got to just do the show here because you can't just yeah. lump three things in together as one as one entry. Four things, technically, the show yeah. plus the three. I was thinking yeah. it's just the show. Well, it's just the show. Uh, yeah, so it's just the show. Just the show. Dumplings, I don't like it because it's something inside of something, and I yeah, don't like that, true. so I won't eat that. So I'm going to go with the show, even though the show is at best fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's I have nothing against it. I don't. I don't. I would never seek it out. Okay. Uh, the okay. show is a cultural phenomenon. I'm sure I've said this on here before, but every summer. Me and my parents, we'd go on a summer vacation. We went to see a Yankee game. 
a presidential museum and we would hit as many diners, drives, and dives places as we could. Uh. My dad had this app on his phone. You get to a new city, pull it up. It shows you anywhere that guy has been, diners, <laughs> drives, and dives. Went to a lot of great places. Blue Plate Diner, Porky's Barbecue, uh, Moochie's Meatballs, and hell, that's just Salt Lake City. Uh, so <laughs> uh, <laughs> That is literally the last city I thought you would say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's just Salt Lake City. So Jesus. tip of the iceberg. Uh, yeah, you go there, you see what guy got. It's exciting. And he he, he always hits. Uh, mm-hmm. I th- you know, I think it, it embodies good Good food places, unique places. It's a fun little thing when you're on vacation. Diners, drivers, and dives in a, in a, in if, a heart. If you could a nominate slot. a place from your hometown for diners, drivers, and dives, or your local I, place, uh, I always would think about that, and I never really. There was never really that good of a mine. One, would be Okanee Diner. It's an all timer for me. I, I mean, Indiana. I was just trying to think about that. Uh, oh, I've been to one in Indiana, uh, right outside Zionsville. Uh, I forget what it was called. Some breakfast place. That narrows it down. I think. Mm. It's like might have had I three think, women as the logo. Oh, three sisters. Might three sisters been. cafe. It might have been. I think that. they. I think it they closed. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Vibsy. Uh, chicken Look dumpling close. soup. Does that count for dumplings? Yeah, one the dumpling and a chicken dumpling. It definitely soup. does. Okay. Well, I've I've been it's soup season and I've been eating chicken dumpling soup every weekend. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. But one time I went out to Colorado to visit my my friend and his wife and I was a little hungover. And I didn't really want to do anything. And they're like, hey, we're going to get breakfast at a diner's, drive-ins, and dives place Ooh. or whatever. And I was like, I couldn't have gotten out the door fast enough. It's diner's, drive-ins, and dive. Diner's, drive-ins, and dat? Dri- whatever the Diner's, fuck it drive-ins, is. and dives. Yeah. Guy Fieri. It, I just looked it up. It was Three Sisters. Three Sisters Cafe, baby. Yeah. And I honestly, I think I got, I might have got these pancakes. They're, they're they showing. went out of business. Two of the sisters. Damn. Came. Two of the sisters killed one of the other sisters. Really? Wait, what? Really? What? what? Oh, that's a lie. That's okay, a lie. Okay. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> oh, Jesus God damn it. <laughs> uh, three to O in favor of diners, drivers, and dives. Nick? I lived in Columbus for four years. That's where Guy Fieri's from. Really? Yeah. And I went, I think so. I, uh, yeah, he is. I went to. They're going to name it Flavortown. Were they? When it was like controversial that it was Columbus. Po- Columbus, they were Ohio? Name it Flavortown. Yeah. It was a poll and everything. Everybody wanted it to be Flavortown. Yeah. It, and did it, Columbus eked it out. How, yeah, how did the poll go? Was it? It was maybe like one of those uh, petitions that yeah. never do anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, I went to one of the places. I don't want to put the restaurant on blast that he went to. Reviewed so highly. Dog shit. Poo poo. P u uh, yuck. <gasps> oh no! You caught Disgusting, him on a bad day. Sloppy, and I think he cooked the books for his hometown. <laughs> really, really, really fucking bad. I've never felt worse after a meal. Uh, dumplings. I can't eat due to my affliction. Oh. Wait, so is it I am That I can't have dumplings? C- uh, celiac or whatever? Mm. Oh, yeah. like a year ago. Long welcome to, welcome oh, to a year ago, you, brother. Wait, who was it that was saying they weren't sure? That was oh, Dana last Dana. week. Dana. Dana. Dana, that's right. Never mind. Um, yep. He's I miss dumplings. Hungover. Like, yeah, he's just hungover. He's just <laughs> yeah, hungover. he just eat, he's drink, drinking tons of beer. I drink Next 30 month. beers. Why is my stomach hurt? <laughs> yeah. 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 I must be allergic. I get really yeah. sick when I drink 50 beers. Yeah. Tommy, that was a really good day, and I like, thought he was just yelling from outside. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, but out of spite from that dog shit meal, I'm going dumplings. One for dumplings. Three to one, KB. I agree. I think diners in general are overhyped a lot. I think it's those big menu restaurants. Are, there are a lot of times everything is mediocre. I don't disagree with that. Really? There, I know. there I'm, is I'm an not appeal a to like I thought the, you'd the have my dirtiness back on that. of it. There's, an appeal, there's like an aesthetic person. appeal and a vibe appeal. I like the ceramic coffee cups that have like the yep. last woman's lipstick on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the look. You go there the for the vibe alcoholics. more than the food, I think. Yeah. i have never like, but, oh my God, yeah. that was an amazing right. meal when I leave a diner. Great soup, typically. Like a good like chicken... Uh, if, but you're, if your calling card is great it's soup. Great. No, but every diner has really great soup, typically. There's I've always said, can't what order. makes a soup great? The heat? Like the temperature? <laughs> the taste of the broth? The the rice? The chicken that they use? I don't know. Jack of all trades, master of none. That's what a diner I is. I think you can't order certain things yeah. when you go to a, a diner. Like if you, if you order them and it sucks, it's yeah. more on you than anything else. You know what I mean? It's like, for breakfast yeah. and yeah. lunch. Or fried good, food. Good, great bacon at a diner? Yeah. Not Are always. they that good of vibes, though? I think I always so. like feel like a diner is like a lost and found of human beings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does depend. Yeah, yeah. But, like it's like a DMV with food. 
Oh, oh wow. Fuck. The clientele Damn. is usually oh, off. Yeah. This is sad. <laughs> they just went back to back. The movie trope that there is like a beautiful woman working behind the, oh, the bar at the diner. But they are <laughs> they're actual cretins. Oh, they're I sea picture, urchins that are working fat, there. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. There's like the movie trope of the hot girl. Triple yeah, X. that is a trope. Yeah. Triple yeah. X was a big yeah. one. She's got a mole right above her lip. Yep. Her top mm -hmm. lip. That was a great. The Triple X was a great callback. Who said that? Uh, I that. guess I'll take the credit. Yeah, I didn't say it at all, so but I, I did it. <laughs> Actually, I will. It was me. I said it. Yeah, it was a great call. That was a great scene in Triple X. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing, sweetheart? Yeah. Because he's sweetheart. You need yeah. to order fried is food. Eva, like, is Eva Mendez working a diner in Slay Spine? I can the picture. She, I think she's been a diner. Uh, uh, yeah. She's worked in a diner Wasn't a few times. Baby Driver? Pine, behind, place, behind place Behind the, the Pines. pines right? I think Wasn't she the girl in Baby Driver working a diner, too? Yes, yeah. the girl yeah. that Ansel Ogre gets with. Yes, it. yeah. I think there's the Norman Rockwell painting that just makes you feel good, and it's yeah. you feel like a good American going to a diner. But was it Stephen mm -hmm. Shea said his go-to diner order was what? It was a fillet stuffed with crab meat. Yep. Yeah, he gets like a crab meat oh my uh, God. Tr trout or something. At some a diner? Shit. He gets a, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, Don't get me started. Don't get me with that. And then, but then the thing was, when we debated this, and then we, I called the diner and asked them if they had it, and they're like, yeah, it's our one of our specialties. And yeah. like, it was just... It was unreal. Unreal Che move. Rudy, your and pick? My pick is, um, I don't think I've ever watched an episode of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Does he ever actually go to a dive? Yeah. Does he go to dive yeah. bars? I dive I, I don't, restaurants. I wouldn't call them really? bars. I'd call them more like hole in the wall yeah, restaurants. Yeah. Got it. Okay. That's okay. But either way, for me, it's, it's dumplings. All the respect to Guy Fieri. Uh, incredible look. Just a mm -hmm. <laughs> striking individual. But uh, dumplings are incredible. I think they're one of the great culinary uh, achievements. Soup dumplings, I still don't get how that works. See how long that? Oh, yeah. You got to bite the very, top very off, pour in a little vinegar, and then eat it. Very good. Love it. Can't get enough of them. Dumplings. Mm -hmm. uh, diners, Drivers, and Dives is going to move on. Next matchup, uh, drinking versus dreams. A very <laughs> interesting mm. one. Dreams mm. versus drinking. Rudy, you're back up. Um, I fuck with dreams. My uncle wrote a book about dreams for children. What? Which now that I said it out loud sounds <laughs> super <laughs> suspect. <laughs> dreams for children. It's a children's book about dreaming. What's, 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 what's the name of this book? book? No, not, it's an no. adult book about dreams for children. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I don't actually know what it's called, uh, and I'm not trying to cover my tracks here. Is it the uncle I met in in Austin? It is. Huh. Tommy did meet him. We went to a uh, Longhorns. What were the vibes? Uh, it looked like he loved kids dreaming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he was no, a teacher. No, he was he, a teacher. Uh, I, I would have never guessed based on what I knew about him in that three hours that he, that he wrote that book. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what was the other one? Drinking. Drinking. Uh, dreams are great. Uh, they can be sexy. They can be scary. They can be confusing. Uh, but no one wants to hear about them. And so for that reason, uh, I'm going to go drinking because it is... Maybe the most consistent hobby in the human in human existence. Interesting, uh, people yeah. described as a hobby. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, it is a hobby. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. No, you're not yeah. wrong. I think it's yeah. an amplifier to other hobbies, though. If that makes. Oh sense. yeah. Yeah. It, it goes with it goes with everything. Mm. Um, there's not anything it doesn't go with, so it's got to be drinking just for, because of staying power, really. Mm -hmm. Drinking, KB. Yeah, I think if you took my top 500 happiest or best days, I. Th Drinking would be a smooth 492, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe more. So drinking. Another for drinking, Nick. What's this against? Dreams? Yeah. Dreams are, are just a big letdown spot, man. If you're having a good dream, you wake up, you're bummed. It's not your reality. If you have dreams, it's not going to happen. Um, drinking, though. <laughs> drinking is the one thing. I, I love it. I fucking love getting a buzz. Hey, like, I love I love drink. I'm going drinking. One for drinking. I'm addicted to it. <laughs> I have a word for that. <laughs> uh, Why don't you grab one. I have one, <laughs> but I'm not addicted. Yeah. Uh, Bibsy. Drinking. What an escape. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I like. I'm gonna have to go with dreams on this one. I do. We. I was on a uh, a bracket where we talked about things we hate or. Things we dislike hearing about the most, mm -hmm. and dreams is one of them. Someone telling me their dreams, I, I think Rudy said it, I hate it. Don't tell me your dreams. But just having a dream is amazing. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr., ever heard of him? <laughs> uh, but no, like, like, even if it's a nightmare, waking up from a dream, like you had one, and you're like, oh man, I, I want to go back to bed and have a dream. If you just have a sleep where you don't dream, it sucks. Mm -hmm. So dreaming. Dreaming. 
Tommy? Yeah, I'm fascinated by dreaming. I think it's awesome when I'm high. I watch a lot of YouTube videos about dreaming. Uh, yeah, I don't want to hear about other people's dreams. I don't really mm -mm. even want to tell other people about my dreams, but I just enjoy having them. Mm -hmm. uh, and like, there's nights where like, I don't know, it's like you just had, I feel like there's phases where I'm having a lot of good dreams. And I can't wait to go to bed mm -hmm. and have some good dreams. That being said, drinking's awesome. Uh, it, it's been about a week since I've drank. I was sick, so I'm very excited to drink again whenever that comes and feel better about everything. <laughs> I love I loved taking melatonin and just riding my weird yeah. dreams. I've just never knowing taken that I'm going to have some fucked up dreams. It's have so fun. Have you done fun. the tart cherry juice yet? I heard What's about that. What is that? You, you drink tart cherry juice before bed and it has your dreams vivid. Anything with uh, vitamin D, is it? Uh, yeah, something. But any, like, any, if you have vitamin D before bed, like apple juice works as well, mm -hmm. it makes your dreams crazy. Okay. The quit, tart cherry. Quit weed the, after a long run. That's, that'll oh get my them, God. That'll get them bucking too. I think yep. the best. I, uh, I, uh, in high school, I tried to teach myself how to lucid dream. Apparently, there's like I a did, process. I did that I'm fascinated by the science of dreaming. And it did yeah. actually work. It, it worked. It did. It did. So the Nick was right like uh, cherry juice or anything with vitamin C or D, I never can remember which one, before you go to sleep because that gives you crazy dreams. And the other one is that you put like a, um, every day you put like a little circle with a pen on your hand somewhere, just draw a little circle. And every time you notice a circle, you ask yourself, am I dreaming? So you just sort of get that oh, in wow. your mind constantly. And then what happens is like while you're dreaming, you sort of become more aware, I guess. Hmm. I pretty much if you just think about it enough, you'll if, get If there. I lose a dream, I'm not getting anything done in yeah. real life. <laughs> The hard part, oh, though, is that control. once yeah. you realize you're lucid dreaming, you get really excited because you've done it, and then you wake, you wake up. up. It's a ticking time. I'm like, all right, fuck, I'm going to wake up soon. I'm going to go fuck. Yeah, you're going yeah. to run. <laughs> you're gonna run and go fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the, first, the, first, dude, <laughs> the first person you see in your dream. I think the Back in the day, yeah. I think the dream yeah, is that yeah. uh, the best for me, and I don't know if it's the same for you guys, if you wake up a little too early accidentally and then you fall back asleep. Yeah, that's that, when they all that's when it's, I, yes. it's best to lose a dream is that's to wake called, up uh, and then fall back asleep. Right. That's called acute REM rebound. Oh. So, oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. So what that's what happens is, is that you're in a REM cycle and you wake up and then you're very tired and if you fall back asleep, your body is sort of confused and then it'll shoot you even further kind uh, of like in inception when they go all the way down oh. i pick up where i left off yeah yeah, so yeah I'll, I'll do that too sometimes yeah what? i picked up where i left oh, off. every time oh, i, I wake like up i fall back to sleep oh, yeah. Yeah. i always Same. want to anytime i'm about to have like a wet dream it's amazing i always get so excited and wake up and i can never get back in oh no not wet i've, I've only had i think two wets in my life i've had one I've which is not enough. Yeah. Had, yeah. You said you'd have them still pretty regularly, right? <laughs> if you could take a pill where you could have one wet dream a, a week, prescribe me now. Yeah, I would take that. For a wet dream? A, p a wet dream pill? Me too. Oh, yeah. Wet dreams are amazing. Well, you Think about the efficiency. You're killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> sleep, <laughs> sleep and jerking it. <laughs> yeah. sleep but it's, and it's better than jerking off because in, your, in the dream, you think you're actually having sex. If you could lucid dream it, I would agree. But it, if you, you could be like dream... Like, uh, I feel like if you're wordy. horny sleep and you're gonna sleep, you're gonna dream about sex. I have yeah. eaten pussy in a dream and it was the most off putting <laughs> sensation <laughs> I've ever experienced. The texture was all uncanny oh. and I could like taste something. You were licking the duvet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it, was so, it was so off. <laughs> you dreamt of eating pussy? That's so gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah don't, don't do that. Don't dream of yeah, eating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but the 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 pill that well, would make that you like, lose that is like the title. <laughs> Never mind. So with the circle thing you were talking about, I was almost afraid of that because then what if you in real life don't know if you're dreaming or not because you just forgot to dream draw the circle or something? You're an inception yourself. Yeah, but you know you're uh, in reality yeah, pretty know. quickly. Mm, I would hope so. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Drinking versus dreams. Uh, Clemmer, do I even need to ask you? <laughs> my my dreams. Are, you said victim of your own mind, and I, I like that because my dreams are always kind of like tr tricking myself. Like I'm always, mm -hmm. like uh, everything I do, I'm like, uh, and then like uh, somehow like sabotaging myself, or it never goes well, and I always feel like I'm playing a trick on myself, or like it's just, yeah. it's very unsettling. It's never my dreams suck. And You've been used as a javelin at the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, a toothpick for a giant. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's never it's not good. My, my dreams my dreams are not good, and I don't remember a lot of them, and I don't like them. So um, drinking though is awesome. So drinking, I mean, it's you know. I mean, no question. Is it that sociop sociopaths don't dream, right? 
Oh, I don't know. I, I dream. I just, they, they suck. Like I said, they're always like me tricking myself. It's like a nightmare I think you're talking about. It's not like a night. I've had nightmares. They're like horrible. Like, oh, you know, family's dead or this is dead or whatever. You know, like horrible things happen. We have nightmares. But like, uh, or my house is on fire or whatever. Like, this is different. It's like little things that happen. And then I, I, and then I, I, I twist the reality just enough to like screw myself over. Mm. Like, I'll dream about work, but then, I, then I'll dream about me losing my job. Mm. And then whatever. It's always going to be a negative fall to that. That's a, that's a nightmare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So drinking's gonna move on. Now we have the two versus the fifteen seed. Fifteen seed KB playing, buddy. Whenever KB submits options, it is is a treat. Uh, mine weren't that crazy. This I like. Time. I, did, I just honest. liked them. I just liked okay. them. Uh, doodads. I like oh. doodads. Oh. Yeah, we as a program love doodads. Yeah, what is Look that? around. Do you- do you guys remember? Do you guys remember Gizmos. the snack doodads? Probably not. No, I don't think so. It no. used to be a snack mix yeah. called doodads, and they were the greatest snack mix around, and they discontinued them. Mm. I love Damn, doodads, man. though. The actual doodads are great. Uh, Gizmos, anything mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> Dozing off. It's oh. one of my favorite sensations. Mm. I don't like Same that. on a plane when the music. Anyway, yeah. you, you're too tired to skip the song. Is a tchotchke a doodad? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's more of a knickknack. Doodads, I think, oh. have an action like, like a uh, you know those like. Oil on water things you would flip upside down and like spin yep. the wheel in the water. That's I think a that's a dude. Like a Rube Goldberg machine almost. Yeah. Esque, yeah. yeah. A snow globe. Okay. Snow globe's a, okay. a knickknack. That's a tchotchke. That's a tchotchke. Snow globe's a tchotchke. Snow globe's a tchotchke. Yeah. Yes. Uh, That'll be a good blog, blog divvying them up. Yeah, putting a Venn diagram of doodad mm-hmm. to tchotchke. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. The Discovery Channel store. Oh, my favorite. Mm-hmm. I don't know if anyone can relate to I, this. Yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah. Early 2000s, maybe 90s. Mm-hmm. It always had uh, it had doodads in it. Mm-hmm. That's where I bought the <laughs> yeah, thing that you flipped yeah. upside down. <laughs> I don't know. I love that place. Mm-hmm. Uh, dancing when you're blacked out. Mm-mm. Getting to the point where you can dance freely in public without feeling any inhibitions, that's like the ultimate feeling. It's pretty great. Mm-hmm. Uh, Donkey Kong Country minecart level. Some of my best <clears throat> memories I would purposely lose just to keep playing. That was like the go-kart. In yeah, you had mines. to jump on the tracks. Yeah. That was a really hard game. Uh, uh, was just, uh, sh- I'm trying to think of the name. Minecart. Ca- um, nah, never oh, mind. Uh, never mind. It, it was something yeah. with minecart in it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Double Dog Dares. Yeah, oh. never mind. No, never mind. I don't, I don't like them. You don't like Double Dog Dares anymore? Not, not that I think about it, no. <laughs> what, about, what about Double Dare 2000? Can we throw that oh, in there? I, lo- I just wanted to pull just the snot just out of the nose. The show. The show, yeah. There is but Double Dare yeah. 2000 was better. They got messy. Yeah, they got they, they they messy they the show. It. Double oh. Dare. They, 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 it was like it was Double Dare on steroids. Uh, Dairy Queen Blizzards. I like this one yeah. a lot. Big fan of Blizzards. No. Not a, you guys aren't a fan of Blizzards? I uh, know they got rid of the Nerds Blizzard. That was my favorite. That's crazy. That's, that would that would have been the worst of the roster. Yeah, I don't. Dreams by the Cranberries. Good song. It's a very good song. Yeah. Oh, that's a good pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Doodad's Dozing Off, the Discovery Channel store, Dancing When You're Blacked Out, Donkey Kong Country Mine Level, Double Dare, uh, Dairy Queen Blizzards, and or Dreams by the Cranberries. Uh, start with Clemmer. You ended, right? Clemmer. Yeah. Uh, dancing While You're Blacked Out is awesome, but I'm going to choose Doodad's because I love that snack mix so much. I know it's not the intention, but there were also no, called... No, I won't, I won't allow it. It's not the <laughs> snack mix. Oh, I love that. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> nah, can... All right, then I'm going to go not Dancing allowed. While Blacked Out. I guess it's not allowed, so that's fine. There you go. All right. Yep. That's fair. Uh, so one for dancing while you're blacked out, Tommy. Hmm. Um, I guess I'll go dancing. While- I have a conflicted relationship with dozing off. Like I feel like dozing off, I don't always love. It's like I'm trying to watch something that I want to watch, and I'm dozing off. I do love the feeling of oh, I'm dozing off. This is amazing. But I'm also like oh, well, I kind of want to watch <laughs> this. So I feel like if I feel like I'm dozing off, then I got to turn on something that like I've already seen that I don't really want to watch. But then that ruins the whole dozing off. Uh, but I feel like it's easiest to doze off when you're focused on something you actually want to watch. So that's a whole thing, and that gets me stressed out thinking about it. So I'll go with uh, something that doesn't get me stressed out, which is dr- dancing while blacked out. Dancing while blacked out. Fibsy? I don't like dancing. I hate dancing. I would. I root for the town in Footloose that band dances. <laughs> <Root for the town. laughs> yes, <laughs> they did it. <laughs> Big John Lithgow fan. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would argue that the mine level in Donkey Kong is the worst Part oh, about Donkey wow. Kong. Wow, I'm thinking of the Game Boy game. Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country. Uh, playing it on the Game Boy. Yeah. I remember it was hard as fuck. That game was hard as I, fuck. G- yeah. It was like a, a break from having to run around. Yeah, but the, the, I, the sound of the minecart. <laughs> yeah, you're exhausted. The sound of the minecart hitting the rails is such a good sound. Uh, the underwater level, the soundtrack in that is amazing. 
Underwater levels are the worst I thing ever those, in any video game. Yeah, those are, swimming sucks on games. The swimming is so hard because you always end up running it, but the sound, the soundtrack is so good. Uh, Wait, so you you said the minecart level is trash? It's so hard. It's just so hard. Oh. I don't know. Okay. I, I have, I have yeah. Diddy Kong. Ta- fair, that's fair. I have Diddy it Kong tattooed on me. I think Diddy Kong. Whoa, what? Yes, I have his little head. Oh, yeah. I, I think Diddy Kong uh, 2, Donkey Kong's Quest, or Diddy Kong's Quest is the best game ever for Super Nintendo. I like Donkey Kong Country. It's all right. Uh, but be using Dixie's hair to spin. Can Donkey Kong kind of be all encompassing or just need to be that mine level? As KB's option. No, nah, yeah, it has to be the mine level. Donkey Kong has faults, though. Mm. Yeah. Mine, mine, mine cart Carnage was the name of the level, by the way. Ah. Does it have yeah, to be the one when one. you're in the mine cart? Can it be the one where you're doing like the stop go on the little guys? And Unfortunately, yeah, it has. Okay. To be the mine All right. Cart. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> Sticking to his guns. Respect. I don't even Is remember what the other, some of the other options were. Uh, let's go to Discovery Ch- Channel Store. I loved it. I would, mm-hmm. I'd get like a. They had like animals that you could just buy, like a plastic animal, and I would just get like. Yep, they had the bin, and they were super realistic. Looking. Yeah, I'd just get a They're random plastic animal. I think I got like a dinosaur, like a gorilla one time. Fucking loved it. Mm-hmm. So we're now two for in favor of Dancing When You're Blacked Out, one in favor of the Discovery Channel store. Nick? I've never gotten to the point of where I can dance without being embarrassed, and then uh, I'm always hungover as fuck the next day. It's it's If I'm dancing, I've ruined my next two days. Mm. Um, so it's, but it's you, a, I've seen you do it once, maybe. And it was mm, glorified dancing. Yeah. What does that Emo mean? Night? Emo night. Yeah. yeah. You were having a blast. I was in the I was in the mosh pit. Gotcha. But then somebody stole my hat, which sucked. And there we go. It was a hat. It was a double styrofoam cup, and it was spilling. And uh, the Pokemon Ditto was coming out. Oh, that's kind of cool too. Which which is sick. Um, didn't get the reaction I wanted at all. Oh, it's very yeah, cool. Was sick. Oh, that's cool. Thank you guys. That's thank cool you guys. one. Um, yeah, perp drink. I'm going with a Discovery Channel store. I bought. Uh, my parents got for me uh, one of those like spiky balls, and you would pull it, and it became a huge ball. Mm. And they got me the biggest one there was, mm. rainbow color. Ooh. And I still have it to this day. It's in my room. It's one of the few things I have remaining so now from my childhood. We're two to two, KB. Yeah, dancing while blacked out. Uh, who knows? I might hate it. I don't know. I don't remember <laughs> how I felt. Uh, it might be trash, but I think it's great. Regardless, I'm going dozing off. I think there's that's the best feeling in the world. Dozing off, Rudy. Not, is it dozing? Not going do you, to do you sleep. Do you like like waking up and like still do? No, like, like when you're on the verge of like. Oh, you feel like warm. You, you know what I mean? It feels yeah, like you have a blanket feel warm. on. Yeah, you feel warm. You feel warmth like behind Pleasure. your eyeballs. And you're like, oh my, this is the best. Yeah, I'll go with that. Dozing off, Rudy. Mm, I am also going to go dozing off, and particularly anesthesia. Uh, mm. Oh, yeah. that's incredible. That's, that's a different. Good. Yeah. Um, I promise I'm not suicidal, but. Uh, when I used to get hurt, I got hurt randomly a lot as a kid and I had quite a few surgeries and I got to the point where I would look forward to having surgery because of the <laughs> anesthesia. It was the best. It's the best sensation. Um, it's the only time you get a true break from existing, <laughs> which is nice. And, well, uh, it, yeah. it's it just feels, but you're dreaming and fitting. And I think you, you still feel that you, 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 you dream. You don't dream during anesthesia. I think you do. I, I feel did. like I definitely. Have oh, I thought you just died. Well, yeah, what? No, no I've never been do. under. Me you, go, you close your eyes, nothing, and then you open them. Whoa! Unless it's that deep of. I've been in that deep of a sleep before. Yeah, but rarely. Yeah. Yeah. So dozing off for me is a rare sensation, uh, but. I'm not suicidal. It's just a nice break. Yeah. It's, like it's a nice, very you, scary. I'm always like, I hope I wake up. Mm. But it is, it's always thinking like, am I about to fall asleep? Am I about to fall asleep? Like, what? am I about to fall asleep? And then you just wake up. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're mm-hmm. two to two to two. Based on that description, I think I'm going to go with dozing off. I'm, I like that description yeah. of dozing off. And I do like that that warmth of feeling like, it does feel like you're getting covered up in like a blanket or something. It does. As you're dozing yeah. off. And I really like that feeling. So dozing off is going up against number two seed, Dinner. Uh, and I like this wow. one. Wow. The best meal of the day, in my opinion. I mean, prove me wrong. Oh, no. fuck yeah. Far and away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're all dinner, so we're all pro dinner people? Because oh, a lot yeah. of people advocate lunch and all this shit. Not dinner is the best um, meal. The, bre- the, the people, the breakfast people <laughs> des- deserve about? to be in hell. <laughs> Name them. Na- who said lunch is the best meal? Uh, uh, I know Kirk likes <laughs> lunch. Barstool side. But you hear a lot of people. Over dinner? Oh, yeah. But you hear a lot. You know who it is? It's more morning people. Are okay. very, and I'm not. I'm very much a night out. people talk about breakfast than dinner. Breakfast, most important meal of the day. You hear that as a kid. Yeah, I, I, I feel as like an adult, you hear a lot of like pro lunch. I think I'm, I'm not even like hungry till dinner. Yeah, 
I don't. I like breakfast yeah, on like vacation. Anything. I'm like mm-hmm. looking forward to breakfast, but like day to day, I wake up and I think my, one of my first yeah. thoughts in the morning is, "What am I having for yeah, dinner?" Bingo. Dinner, dinner. I love to get myself in the mood, like just scroll through Instagram or TikTok, be like, "What am I going to yeah. get myself Edge in the mood yourself for?" Yourself almost, <laughs> yeah, get yourself real hungry. And then you know what I there's get? There's breakfast foods, there's lunch foods, and then dinner is the world is your oyster. Right. <sighs> you get you can get anything. Anything mm-hmm. you. I was talking do- to my uncle recently. He's like old. He's like so like. You, what do you get yourself for like dinner every night? I said. Anything I want, I want anything, yeah. anything you I want, want yeah. I get for dinner at any given night on any given <laughs> it's day. It's truly it's amazing. Best. Nothing is bad. It's, we, <laughs> we have the best life of all time because we can get whatever we want for dinner. If you made a list of my top forty meals I've ever had in my life, I think all forty of them are probably dinners. Mm-hmm. Everyone's Easily. dinner. You know, maybe like, a maybe a cook and camp out breakfast, a cast iron skillet over a fire, but that's more environment or something. Yeah. But when, dinner has been the highlight of probably eighty percent of my days. Mm. When I was yes. When I was a kid, I would hate having breakfast for dinner. It was like a cheat. It was like my parents oh. were cheating. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I never, never I hate, fucked It's a cop that. out. That's yeah. not dinner. Yes. And also, by the way, you can't do dinner for breakfast. You're a psychopath if you do that. <laughs> I agree. John Rich. John Rich. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's weird. He's eating like John lobster tail. He's sending a message, and I appreciate it. Now, I respect what he's doing, but I can't do it. <laughs> I, when I, I worked at a morning radio station, and you, you were up so early that sometimes you're just like, I'm hungry, I'll eat anything. I'd have like lasagna at like... 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I don't know. It's some I used to have leftover pizza for breakfast. Sometimes. That's that. But you would be oh, yeah. been up pretty normal, for a while right? Or so. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so if you wake different. up right away and do it, it's yeah. it's weird. But uh, start. Cold, I woke up this morning, 9 a.m. Totally yeah. Not 8 a.m. And uh, I went right to the internet and I searched cool restaurant Chicago reservation. Boom. First thing that. this morning. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. For tonight. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure what I'm going for dinner tonight, but I know it's going to be great. I'm going to the Mark. M A R Q. Oh, oh. Ooh. very good. They, they have good, good looking uh, appetite. You know what I found out recently? Dips. Nate goes to Omakase like three times a week or something like he that. He goes yeah. to, and I'll tell you what, I went with him once. Omakase is fucking It's amazing. It's the best. It's unbelievable. It's so good. So, so, so good. good. But it's so expensive. Going like that often mm-hmm. is crazy. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so Rudy, you're up first. Dinner versus dozing off. Uh, I mean, it's di- uh, it's difficult after that barrage of (laughs) compliments to dinner i mean it's also let's talk about like the social aspect yes yes nothing better than going Uh, to dinner but also dozing off after dinner oh oh yeah oh Oh, vibsy why'd you do that yeah 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 it's difficult because the feeling you get when you take that first bite of dinner and it's good yeah but that feeling you get when you're (laughs) that feeling you get when you're not existing oh i hate dozing off after dinner i know i hate that oh yeah because then what you know because then i'll wake up and then i won't be able to go back to sleep till like three or four in the morning a little little bit too that's kind of cool but like as an adult you can watch you could do uh, doesn't matter you're a, you're a pussy you're a big pussy <laughs> why am i a pussy yeah, why yeah. why does that make my me sleep, a pussy? my sleep schedule yeah, yeah. You grow, don't, no just change have, it i'll just be up forever i'll be up until like 4 a.m that's not good i'm it's playing baseball simulators. you can watch all kinds of movies you can play baseball I simulators do, that's it, great but i'm also like alone it's just kind of a sad you I, have oh, a wife man. i know but she's sleeping she has no she's not weird like me with that stuff like i i not weird like me Probably wake her like ass up get her on the playstation <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> probably wakes up drinking like 80 cokes a day that's what's keeping you up no but then I'll, if I doze off then I then that's what fu- if I just stay awake I'm fine Rudy. Rudy you should stream baseball simulator manager simulator with Clemmer oh I would, I would love too. that it'd be so much fun Rudy I also like picturing Clemmer like making his wife play baseball I've, I've watched him play it it's <laughs> and he goes 82 and 0 against her <laughs> oh, just destroying her <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> not how many no Nick's, Nick's seen me uh, play my simulator yeah, yeah. I want, yeah you can do any draft of any player of any era it's sick it's fun we do have a nice career me and Clemmer did Oregon Trail and completed it he got tuberculosis three times yeah but we it, and no d- one during died the, during the playthrough Yes. In game or out of game? Uh, both. In game. And yeah. n- no one died in our in our caravan. Not one. Oh, we grew up right next to a tuberculosis center too. Yeah. They have what? chains on the walls. Back uh-huh. when they used to diagnose it with insanity, they'd send them here. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rudy, dinner Spooky. or dozing off? Ah, uh, man. The problem is that my dozing off is 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 specifically anesthesia. Mm. The inconveniences of other dozing off, are, I, I understand. It's it's specifically I I like anesthesia. So. That sort of, I think, uh, ruins it. So for that reason, I'm going to go dinner for all the reasons mentioned. One for dinner, KB. Dinner. Another for dinner. Nick? Dinner. (laughs) Lance. Over dogs and dads, I think, too, dude. Dinner? Dinner. Dinner? It's going to be a tough one to beat. It's going to be a tough one to beat, dinner. 
dinner, dinner by a mile. Yeah, yeah I agree. Uh, so before we get into our playoffs, uh, let's hear from our next sponsor, Body Armor. You can see them right in front of us right now. Uh, we love Body Armor here, and they have a brand new product, uh, Body Armor Zero Sugar. Body Armor Zero Sugar is the new Zero Sugar sports drinks from our friends at Body Armor with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or dyes. Whether you're looking to stay hydrated or recovering from a long weekend, Body Armor Zero Sugar has got you covered. Uh, it's great tasting flavors like fruit punch and lemon lime. This one right here, and I'm not a lemon lime guy. Hand up. Not a Whoa. lemon lime guy for the most part. Like in, I would say like non-sprite things. You know what I mean? I love this thing. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, uh, use, it, use it for anything, whether it's for like for me getting ahead of wedding planning, workouts, long movie, uh, or long movies, late night recordings, etc. Uh, whatever you're trying to get through, Body Armor can help you out. Uh, it's available in stores nationwide. We can head on over to the Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. We love Body Armor here. It's, it's, it, you watch anything Barcelona, it's all over we, the office. We have trouble keeping it stocked. It goes so fast. Yeah, I, literally, I, yes. I, I went right yeah. before I went here. I was asking them if they wanted a water. There were none in there. Exactly. Like the day that the pallet of body armor comes in is like the best day in the office. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Uh, so we love body armor here. Um, so shout out to them. Uh, n- now we can do our playoffs. Dips versus dads. <sighs> Start with you, Clemmer. I'll go with dads here. Not a big dip guy because the cream. But dips are very good. And the chicken nugget dip. And the, that's very good. But I'm going to go with dads. It's tough. Both are good. Dads versus dad. Damn. One for dads. Yeah, I'll stick with dads here. Um... Look, I love dips, but you know I love my dad too, so it's tough. I and mean, yeah, I mean, if if dads took down Drake, I can't, I can't, you know, let dips take it down. So uh, I'll go dad. Two for dads. Like I said, there's nothing better than a cool dad. Nothing makes you feel better than a cool dad. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna go dads. Three for dads. Wow, Nick. Dips. <laughs> <laughs> so quickly for dips. There is more bad dads yeah. than bad dips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, dads a, that's a fair can, point. Be uh, dads can be abusive. Dip a lot of them are. I've seen it. Many of them. In the what? Act. Stop! You, you what? How many? <laughs> in the I went to youth wrestling tournaments. Oh, I've seen uh, it. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, d- dips. I love dips. Three to two in favor of dads. Rudy. I'm gonna go with dads because a dip never gave me weed. So <laughs> a dad gave you weed. <laughs> My dad did. Oh, wow. what? Nice. You had a cool. You were the cool dad. Yeah, fucking Colorado. Uh, I want to hang. How young? Uh, I was like seventeen. Oh, that's real cool. Yeah, I want to hang out. Uh, with yeah, his that's, dad. that's 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 yeah. any younger, uncool, any older. Yeah, seventeen's the coolest year to get weed from your dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so dad's gonna move on. The other side, dogs versus double D's. Oh wow! <laughs> Jesus puppies Christ! Puppies versus puppies, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rudy, I can picture a world. Without dogs, I cannot picture a world without boobs. It's not boobs, just double D's. It's just double D's. Oh, man. even better, double D's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I've never had a dog. I understand they're incredible. I used to bitch and moan to my dad all the time. Can we please get a dog? He said, "No, here's a joint." And I know dogs are incredible, but my greatest love in life is is boobs. So I'm gonna go double D's. Double D's, KB. Like the D's are fine, C's are fine, B's are great, the A's with an ass is great. I, I, so. Yeah, but that's not the category. <laughs> that's not the category. Okay, I, and I get where you're coming. I'm going dogs. One for dogs, one to one. Nick, it's all dogs versus one kind of breast. I'm going dogs. Two for dogs. Again, coming home and you got that dog waiting for you when you open the door is great. But coming home and opening the door, and you got two <laughs> giant double D breasts <laughs> that you can squeeze and ooga, ooga. That's he the best. Does do that. mm-hmm. uh, Vibs, that was a good grabbing technique. Yeah. Ooga. I think he's grabbed some double D's oh, before. Yeah, he brought yeah. him a little closer. Yeah. He brings yeah. him a little closer every time. <laughs> oh, Vibsy. I like that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you snarling at my breast? Yeah. I'm an animal. Did you see they open up a place kind of near the office called Wooga? Did you see that? <laughs> no, it's but like, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> it's like two blocks of two blocks uh, nor, uh, north of here called Wooga. It, what and is I it? was going to take a picture to put an A in front of it. I don't know what it is. I have huh. no clue. It's just called Wooga. Well, there's got to be a strip club in the United States called a Wooga. Right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, Tommy? Yeah, I mean. Wait, Tommy, Tommy, do your breast grab. My breast grab? Yeah. <sighs> 
<laughs> not, not, uh, <laughs> ew, dude. Ew, dude. <laughs> Nibs it. Wait, Nibs you know, that's that's cooler. just him grabbing one of them. He, they're yeah. so good. <laughs> 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 but that wouldn't be a double D either. That would be like an E or an F. No, yeah. you could you could fit a double D in two hands like that. I guess. <laughs> I guess you, yeah, like that. Not how you originally did it though. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look. Two handing abreast. What I love to, what I love to get that home. Is, yeah. <laughs> Two handing one, one at a time. Let me see, baby. One at a time. <laughs> it's like yeah. a fucking baby. Are you checking me for cancer? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, what I love move. to get don't want to lose and, these puppies. I'd rather get home and fucking yeah, fucking play with some double D's than fucking. But you, you so, uh, what? what? What if like C's are great? Like what? They're not. They're not nearly as good as double D's. Yes, they are. They're yes, not they the are. category. Yeah, they, they're not the category. Right, but I'm saying there's an alt- there's an alternative. Yeah, though. but this is like only one specific one. If you got rid yeah, of all fair. the double D's in the world, I would be just fine. Because I other- would shoot myself. <laughs> in the- boys, there's still D's. <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. fucking yeah. kill myself. Single D's. <laughs> there's I, still single D's, boys. I want dogs to win. It's just yes, yeah, I right. Single D's. D's. You I don't even really saying D's. Single D's are like incredible. I just had to. I just you did what you had to do. I did what I had to do. I mean, I think I want to be true to myself. If if I didn't fucking choose double D's. Yeah, the two. A brotherhood of bo- a brotherhood of boots. <laughs> the two hand technique was wild. Uh, clever. This is insanity. Dogs all the all the way. Dogs. This is thank even, you. This isn't even close. This is stupid. Yeah, I, I think honestly, Clumber might be gay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it, I think I'm proving I'm not gay because I don't need to overcompensate by saying boobs for everything like a moron. Gay. Not gay. Damn, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's a good argument. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's three to three. I'll vote for dogs. Thank we gotta, you. We gotta Thank stop the God. boobs. Hey, yeah. More boobs for us, yeah, baby. More, <laughs> more boobs for us. <laughs> you can pet a dog. You can pet a boob. You can put your face in your dog. And oh, yeah. You can put your face in boobs. Dogs don't usually make me come. <laughs> Do you, you don't say usually. Why you say usually? <laughs> 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 uh, so dogs versus dads. Ooh, this is tough to get into the finals. Start with you, Clemmer. Uh, yeah. Look, I, I've had to, as I said in the show, I've had to bury both dogs and dads. Uh, I'm going to go with dogs. <laughs> going to go with dogs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Tommy? Dads. I mean, I'm just, I'm out of spite, I'm not... V- voting for what fucking took down double D's. So I'll vote for dads. <laughs> one for dads? Uh, KB said it earlier. There's There are bad dads. I've met like one bad dog maybe in my life. Mm. Uh, so dogs. Mm-hmm. Dogs. Mm-hmm. One for dogs. Nick? Dogs, man. Another for dogs. KB? Yeah, nothing uh, Nothing completely against dads. There's some great dads. You're sure. going... I actually... I'm going dads. Going dads, yeah. flip. Yeah, I've seen you around dogs, and you love it. I'm going dogs. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, getting be- I'm getting away. But having a cat made me appreciate them so much more. Just pets, I, animals in general. When Live Lisa brought her dog in, I heard KB's dog voice for the first time ever. It's, it's amazing. Uh, oh yeah, well I stepped on it. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, I remember. That. <laughs> that was, yeah, I was upset. That was that was a sad upset moment. About. Rudy, mm. this is really tricky. I actually really don't know what way to go, but. Because my dad denied me the dog growing up, which infuriated me and hurt me, I'm going to go with dogs. Dog going to move into the finals. Uh, before we get to the finals, very last sponsor of the day, Ibotta. Uh, we talk Ooh. about Ibotta all the time. You bought a what? I bought a, I bought a, I bought a, I bought a, basically. Uh, it's the officially, oh, wow, and their first talking point is somebody said on soup, which we were just talking about. It's officially soup season. Make sure you get all the ingredients you need to master your recipe while getting cash back on purchases with Ibotta. It is a free app that gets you the most cash back every time you shop on hundreds of items from groceries to beauty supplies to toys, so you can make sure you're beating inflation no matter what you're purchasing. The average user earns 145 bucks a year that can cover the cost of an entire shopping trip, buy that fighty benign, that game you're dying to go to, or maybe a dinner at the mark. Is that the name of the place, right? At yeah, the mark. the mark with a Q. M-A-R-Q. With a Q. Other apps give you points that don't amount to much with Ibotta. Just add your offers to the app, upload the receipt, and get real cash that you can uh, cash out to your bank account, PayPal, or gift cards. cards. Uh, join over 50 million savers and earn cash back every time you shop with over 2,700 brands and retails, including Lowe's, Macy's, Sephora, Best Buy, and more. Right now, Ibotta is offering our listeners $5 just for trying the app by using code BRACKET when you register. Go So go to the App Store or Google Play Store, download the free Ibotta app, and start earning cash back and use code BRACKET. That's Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A, in the Google Play or App Store and use code BRACKET. Uh, all right, other side. Uh, first, we have the deli versus diners, drive-ins, and dives. Clemmer. Uh, oh, the, the deli. Over the show, the deli. It's mm-hmm. not close. 
Why not even close? Uh, you don't it, like the show. Right? The show is fine. It's at a, a good, a great deli. If you have a great deli in your neighborhood, it's it's a complete game changer. Because like I said, you can, it provides you everything. It provides you stuff to cook. It provides you stuff for lunch. It provides you stuff that you can just take out from there. It's a deli is a great deli is a fantastic addition to any neighborhood. One for the deli, Tommy. <sighs> this is tough. This is really tough. I guess I'll go delis. I do. I do love delis because. I mean, going into a deli hungry and just mm. buying everything in sight. Uh, but fucking. But Tommy, think great. about Salt Lake. Think I know. About Salt I'm Lake thinking City. about Mucci's meat. I also balls. went to Guy Fieri's restaurant when he had it in New York in Times Some Square. Donkey sauce. Whatever. What the shitty? It was awful. Well, like, that's not a diner drive. Yeah, that. I know, but that sucked. And I know, like, <laughs> that, like it was just a shitty, and it was like an expensive, overpriced, shitty experience. I'm not I'm saying Guy Fieri makes great food. I'm, I'm just saying, saying, I'm just saying, well, to that has to, with that's gonna play a, a small role in this for me. I'll mm. still go, I'll go, Delhi. You know what? No, I'm fucking going. I'm staying true to my roots. I'm staying true to my family roots. I'm going, but diner drive-ins and dives. Diner drive-ins and tough. dives. Tough decision I've ever had to make. Diners, drive-ins, dives. That title added to something makes it amazing. Mm-hmm. I ate at a diners, drive-ins, and dives restaurant. It's Add powerful. Something to, yeah. Add something to it. Uh, it's powerful. Nick? I don't like when uh, somebody has like a deli, like, oh, you got to try it. This is the best. And it's just so regional. You guys are kind of annoying about it. Um, yep. I'm, abst- I'm abstaining. Abstaining? Oh, you don't oh. like diners, drive-ins, and dives? It betrayed me when I went to this True. place in fucking Columbus, and it just it turned uh, the the, sh- the 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 poop that came out of my butt hole was unbelievable. So I you couldn't even call it poop. <laughs> Abstaining, it's two to one, KB. <laughs> Delhi, they they've done some good. <laughs> <laughs> two to two, you're gonna break it, Rudy. I'm gonna go Delhi. I am a huge fan of the Delhi, and I think that diners, drive-ins, and dives is a cool part of american entertainment and uh television but the deli is like i said the backbone Mm -hmm. whether you know it or not and the other last match up here the diner or dinner sorry dinner versus drinking wow (laughs) uh rudy holy shit shit. it's a championship level seriously um this is really tricky because one sustains you to live the other sustains your mental capability to live we can simultaneously also <coughs> unravel it. Um, I am going to go with dinner, uh, mm. even though it's not the cool choice. I'm going to go with dinner. It's just the it's the more logical pick, and it pains me to say it. Fuck dinner. Dinner, KB. Yeah, dinner. Dinner, Nick doesn't come with the you know hangover. Yeah, there's lunch and breakfast still, and it's not as good, but. If you cut out drinking, what 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 what's left? It's a slippery slope. Success, Drugs. heroin. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. I'm going drinking. It is kind of like the big barrier to other much more worse substances. It's it's it's, it's, it's the floodgate. It's it's like it's the levee. Yeah, and it's uh, <laughs> drinking. Imagine like the guy that taught you in like dare class, hearing us talk about this like this. <laughs> drinking yeah. is the most important thing in my life. <laughs> It stops me from doing black tar yeah. heroin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vibsy. I'm going drinking. I will often, Thank you, Vibsy. I will often put off dinner for drinking. Ooh, that's yep. a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then you're drinking more on an empty stomach, and you only get more drunk. Mm-hmm. The Vibsy technique? Drunkorexic, as they call it, I believe. Yeah, not, two two. not eating so you get more drunk, but no, the, I'll go out I, to yeah, drinks. Oh, I've done that a billion times. Yeah, I'll go out to drinks, and I'm like, you know what? I'm, having, I'm, I'm in a good spot. I'm, in, I'm feeling buzzed. I don't need any food. And then you eat at, like, midnight. Mm-hmm. So I could I could imagine some pushback here, but I'm gonna go with dinner because that can include drinking. Like I, I no, yes no. it can. A, a dinner can include. Uh, to me, I'm thinking dinners. That's going out to dinner, having some drinks there. But we if you're getting drunk at dinner, you're a psycho. You don't get drunk at dinner. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is it drunkness that it's up against? No, but or is the, it why drinking? would you drink without drunkness? Sometimes, sometimes two cocktails at a dinner gets you to a more desirable level of intoxication. That's than still drinking would. though. I think you're allowed to drink at dinner. Uh, to me, drinking is included as part I'm of the dinner I'm experience. separating the sure. two. It's You're allowed. only it's separating allowed. them because they're up against each other. Right. Mm. Well, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing here. But we don't have to do that. So I feel like this is goes against the sanctity no. of the bracket. You're a whole sanctity Co- bracket guy. Oh, contraire. A- this is the sanctity of the bracket. Din- the uh, dinner is your election. You're allowed a glass of dinner wine. That's it. 
the dinner this the dinner experience can it looks like Tommy's arguing with like the future version of himself with <laughs> yeah. yeah you guys are dressed like exactly like oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking that for like an hour and a half I can't believe it took this long for somebody <laughs> to say it uh, yeah. to me the dinner experience can include a couple of drinks I'm not saying you know getting fucking uh, uh, d incredibly drunk but I think you know part to me a nice dinner includes a couple of cocktails and for that reason I'm gonna take dinner Wow, one for your sanctity of the bracket allows it and dare I say promotes it. three to two in favor of dinner. Yeah, for me, it's easy. I guess nowadays, if I'm asking my friend to go hang out, I'd say, oh, want to go grab dinner. When I was in my 20s, it would be want to go grab drinks. But the fact that I'm now putting dinner first tells me I'm a dinner guy over a drinking guy. So I have to go dinner. Dinner. So dinner versus the deli. This feels wow. very it's related. All. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this Move is, it on. This is, yeah. this is dinner. Dinner versus deli? Yeah. Oh, I, I like delis, but dinner. Oh, I mean, yeah, I think we could just move this one straight on. Is, is, is anyone is, here voting I for deli? For deli is more of a lunch place, right? And yeah. so you get yeah. you get lunch stuff yeah. there. Delis are awesome, but dinner, yeah. I mean, what are we nah, talking about? Come here? on. Okay, so finals. Dogs versus dinner. Oh. KB. Dinner. Don't make a joke about uh, well, my... I'm not. Don't, yeah, you thought about man. it. You thought about it. Uh, you can't get <laughs> mad after you brought you it thought up. About you it. thought about it. You thought about it. You thought about it. You thought about it. I saw the twinkle in your eye, Nick. I saw you, it. Uh, you were ready to roll. <laughs> no, he thought. <laughs> uh, <laughs> clever. <laughs> no, it's to me. Uh, dogs. Dog. Dogs are the greatest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Like the pure, like kindest. The average dog is greater than the average human. Dogs are great. Dogs. Dogs are great. They're not as good as dinner. I fucking love dinner. A nice dinner. I'm always just trying, just trying to go to a nice dinner. Go out. Whether it's just eating in, whether it's ordering in, sitting in the comfort of your own home and eating whatever food you want, uh, watching something on the TV, or whether it's going out with friends on a date, family, whatever it is, having a shared human experience over dinner, mm -hmm. appetizers, main course, drinks, hell, maybe a dessert if you're feeling fucking insane, a Good two plus hour experience. Very adult. I feel like it's a good thing at, at our age to, to do. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I lost that dinner? Last lost Going it, yeah. to dinner? I feel like you were, you were on this beautiful rant. Yeah. I know. I lost it there. I lost. I do feel like going to dinners, it's like, yeah, in, col like in colleges, you're not going to dinners as much with like your friends. No, you're going out for drinks. Right. Yeah. That's what, like, you know, it's a more adult thing. Let's go out to a nice dinner. Let's have a dinner party. Uh, I'm good, but you know, dinner makes the world go around. I, I do think that the one of the best mini adult like adrenaline rushes you can have in everyday life, like the ring on your doorbell when your like Grubhub gets there or whatever. Oh, yeah. The oh. look when you see the waiter coming with your table's food, like that little mini adrenaline rush when you see your dinner's coming is just great. There's nothing like it. Fibsy. I'm gonna go dinner because the thing that keeps my dog going, the only thing he thinks about is dinner. That's a great point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dinner is mm -hmm. awesome. Even it's the one thing my dog loves more than me is dinner. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nick? It's dinner, man. When you're hungry, d dinner's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody make a quote card? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, dinner's my favorite food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love dinner. Uh, dinner. Dinner, KB? Yeah, dinner over dogs. Dinner over dogs, Rudy? May as well just get on board. It's dinner. The yeah. only meal I eat now. Yeah, pretty much. So Yeah. So dinner is going to be the winner of the bracket episode 112. Uh, worthy champion, to be honest. Like, oh, yeah. This is our the, maybe the strongest winner. Yeah. And, like, honestly, like, our final four, Lee, like, all of it, like, very well. I think it was... What pretty was good. our final and uh, final four? Uh, dogs, dads, delis, and dinners. Delis, wow. we delis are weak. Yeah, yeah. yeah out of the other, yeah. I think we did a pretty good job with that yeah. side of that. Uh, so that's the episode one twelve. We'll be back next week with a new topic. Uh, make sure to watch Rat Race, Anus, everything else. Everyone else has got going on. You guys got something? Oh yeah, Clemmer. I'm really really excited. <laughs> yes, yeah, it came out. Like, I said beforehand, but it came out better than I could have ever hoped. Please yeah. check out Rat Race. It's, it's very good. I just saw a clip of Woozy Meek <laughs> Phil <laughs> <just> killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Meek and Tommy yeah, were teamed yeah. up, and their back and forth was. <laughs> uh, I, I was I was watching it last night. I was. We're laughing out loud, even though I knew it was happening. It was like it was very yeah. funny. <laughs> and also, Vibsy and Clemmer have something very interesting going on soon. Uh, yes, very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. plan of okay. Also, you kind of look like Mr. Freeze underneath this lighting. Mr. I'm looking Freeze. At, I'm looking at you. On, do you see yourself on the camera? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you look so blue. You look like Violet Beauregard. <laughs> this is a real. Yeah, you guys got a real blue camera over there. Super. It looks like we're in like an Eastern Europe in a movie or something. It's really yeah. weird. Uh, but yeah. yeah, we'll be back next week with a new topic. Uh, see you guys then. Yeah.